Tell me who you want to be We can always start Start to believe Listen to your heart Tell me that you understand Cause you are the one for me If you just believe
yo, people, welcome back to another stream FA Cup semi final against the Chelsea. Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. We must beat Chelsea today. We must beat Chelsea today. I was literally just on the phone there with Saeed and Matisse in the Big Six, and I was saying, we can't go a whole season without beating these bums. We, ca we cannot go a whole season, three games against these bums, and not beat them. Yeah? Nullify Cole Palmer, and I think you nullify Chelsea. I'm sorry. We're going to go through the whole starting 11, give our thoughts. Make sure you've all hit that big thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here. We're on the road to 8K. We're less than 200 away from 8K, which is unbelievable support from you lot. But um, yeah, big up. Who we got in the building, man? Who's in the chat? We got uh, Mark. We got Briggsy. We got uh, Ponit. And we got Daniel. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Smash that big thumbs up button. And uh, yeah, man, big day today. Big day today. The double uh, of domestic trophies is still on the cards. And the quadruple for the season is on the cards. I am calling it a quadruple. I am calling it a quadruple. You know, a Super Cup, a Club World Cup, an FA Cup, and a Premier League. I'm calling that a quad. I'm, I'm calling that a quad. I don't know about you, but I'm taking it. Yeah, I mean, if we get that far, yeah. There's not much dispute in it. It's four trophies that you pick up during the season. I mean, Arsenal fans will argue that they've won a trophy with the Community Shield. If they can argue that, we can argue a potential quad or treble or even just, you know, we're going to double already. You know, we, we can argue that point. Those two trophies, even though they are rewarded for the success last season, they won this season. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, it all counts. Big up Scars in the build and says, can't believe I'm watching, I'm actually watching a Huey watch along. Big up, brother. Big up to you, Scars, for joining us, man. Appreciate you coming in and sitting with us. Uh, big up Lugani as well. Good to see you. He says, we must, we must, we absolutely must. And Pep obviously believes we must because he's gone substantially stronger than um, any of us predicted. I mean, there's a few names that team sheet. I'm like, wow, I can't believe they're playing, but... Team sheet goes as is. Uh, Ortega, Walker. Or, I mean, Ortega, I've no qualms with. You know, he's the cup goalkeeper. He's doing his thing. I've no doubt he'll do a decent job today. Walker, obviously, you know, came back against Real Madrid. Thought he might have taken a day off today to recover fully, but he's there. Stones, Akanji, Ruben Diaz dropped. Ake back there. So, you know, a, a nice little rest for Vardy. Vardy probably needs a decent replacement, Nathan Ake. Then the big one, Joe, for me is Rodri. I don't know what as... as Pep must be violating some sort of laws here by the amount of football he's given to Rodri because this guy, like, I'm not looking at Rodri today and saying you must. I'm not looking at Rodri today and expecting fireworks. This guy's on his arse, man. This this Rodri guy, he's absolutely jaded with fatigue. If he put, he's Superman. He's superhuman. If he can, if he can, you know, pull a big one out of the bag today and continue because he is going to play the last six Premier League games pending he doesn't get injured. So. You know what I mean? He's got potentially eight more games to go this season, including today. So I feel for the guy, Joe. I thought today was a day where we could have given him a, an afternoon off. Well, Mateo Kovacic, get ready to learn Saudi, my brother, because uh, if you are not trusted to start an FA Cup fi uh, semi-final against, no disrespect, Chelsea, of course, maybe full disrespect, I don't know. They're in ninth. If... You, as a professional, experienced, international Champions League winning football player, aren't trusted to start a game like this after the game we've just had. I don't know where you fit in. Personally, that's just my point of view on this. He's not forward thinking enough. He's not, doesn't have the qualities going forward that we need for him to play in an advanced midfield position. Clearly doesn't, because whenever he's asked to push forward, it doesn't look great. So his capabilities are, I mean, it's very simple on the eye to, to list them out. They are, he can sit in a pivot or he can sit and hold himself. And that is probably what he's best at. He can do the defensive side of the ball, no issue. It's just going forward that he's just, you know, not up to the standard that we need. He's not a creator. He's not a goal scorer. So you take those two aspects out. He's a dribbler at best. That's all you get, but you've got no other qualities. So he fits deeper in the midfield. And if he can, again, if he can't play in a game like this, is that just it? Is that just, you know, he had his one season, he filled a need, you know, short term, and that's it. We just, you know, we either, you know, if we get an offer, we sell him. If we don't, he just sticks around and doesn't really play too much. 
kind of the feeling I get. I mean, today was a was a shoe in type of game, but my 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 only thought process with this is that Pep's looking for a reaction. Pep's looking for an angry reaction. He wants he wants good players out in the pitch, players he trusts, and you know, Rodri, De Bruyne, uh, Foden, even, and he's looking for an angry reaction off the back of that Real Madrid game because to go out of two competitions in one week would be a big L. A big, big L to go out of two competitions in one week. Now, plenty of people are arguing that. There's actually plenty of City fans, chat, believe it or not, that are saying they wouldn't mind losing today. Just full send, full focus, those last six Premier League games. And there's a part of me gets it. But look, if there's a trophy to be won, if there's a double or a quadruple, as I'm calling it, to be won, I'm saying fucking go for it. But it is, it's tough, man. It's tough for Rodri. It's tough for Kev as well. Because Kev, he's not fully fit. I mean, Kev starts today beside Bernardo in midfield. He's not fully fit. I'm, I'm just being fully real with you people. He's not fully fit. I would not be surprised if he's jabbing himself with painkillers this afternoon, if he's, you know, doing whatever he needs to do just to just to get through the game because we could see it against Real Madrid. The guy was absolutely bollocksed. He was absolutely bollocks, man. He, 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 he sh- No wonder he had to come off because he didn't look fit to play extra time. He didn't look like he was able to run around the pitch. He had to come off. So, I mean, it's tough for him again today. I mean... The, he probably could have done with the full week off and just get ready for Brighton next Thursday. But Pep wants to win this game. I and mean, this is a strong lineup. This is a really, really strong lineup. No Haaland, obviously, but otherwise it's a really strong lineup, Joe. It is, which I mean, some of these players, I'm not I'm not maybe surprised that it's stronger than we predicted because it's Pep. But in terms of some of the selections, I mean, Rodri and De Bruyne, I don't know what they're doing on the pitch, to be honest. Like, I'm not going to be at all surprised if De Bruyne does 60 minutes and looks absolutely knackered and has to come off. I will not be surprised. Again, I won't be surprised if Rodri looks off it again because he has done for a number of games now in a row. So I, I'm not going to be surprised. I, I, it's not that I'm expecting it. Of course not. But, like, if they turn around and maybe don't have the best of games, I'm not going to, like go in and have a massive rant or anything because I understand, I get it they, they probably, in, in an ideal world don't play this game And I mean Pep clearly wants it He's he doesn't want to go out of two competitions in, in two games so he's gone strong but I, 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 I it could backfire on him is all I'm going to say because if those players just can't do 90 minutes or you know look like they're falling away at the end of the game then I, I mean you can't say you didn't see it coming Oh, hey, big up Della with the super chat. Big up Della, man. Massively appreciate the super chat. Uh, and they go on to say, I really appreciate the support and understanding you give Haaland. Not many do at the moment. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for the super chat. Genuinely, you know, the, the, the kindness is massively appreciated. You're helping us out so much with the super chat. Um, and the, the Haaland thing, I've spoke a lot about this week, Della, and Joe has too. And a lot of people are failing to to look at the whole situation. And I'm really glad he's not playing today. I'm, I'm genuinely really glad he's not playing today. And I don't mean that in the sense of, oh, he's not a good player or he wouldn't help us. I think the guy just needs time out for a week or for, for a few days because he looks really frustrated. He looks really stressed. We're not finding him. We're not playing with him. We're not playing for him. He's an isolated figure up top on his own these days, Erling Haaland. He's a totally, totally isolated figure. And as I said in the big six, I mean, a few jaws dropped, or I said it here as well, I wouldn't be surprised if something comes out this summer that Erling Haaland, you know, he says, I'm not happy. I don't like the way this is going. A 23-year-old striker with the, the level of quality he does should not be playing in a system where he's not being utilised. You know, he's not being utilised. I don't want Talon to leave Manchester City. That's the last thing I want. But if you want to keep him satisfied, a player of his aura and, and ability, you have to use the guy. You have to make an effort to find the guy. Um, so I feel for him. I really feel for him. Um, and I hope Pep can tweak it with, with the last six games because Haaland can win us this Premier League. Haaland can actually go on to win us these next six games if we find him correctly. So... It's it's I feel for the guy, Joe. I really do. Yeah, of course, because you look at Real Madrid and the guy did everything you ask him to do. And I, and I keep hammering this point home. He did everything you would ask a player of his qualities to do because you don't ask him to get involved in intricate build-up play or any of this. You don't. That's not what he's good at. What you ask him to do is make himself useful, put himself about, get in physical battles, you know, occupy defenders, make a bit of space. He did all of that, worked really hard, and he never got rewarded for any of that because he didn't see the ball, you know, in the areas that he wants to see the ball. You can argue he had a couple of headers. That's not his strong point, at least not yet. 
He's not great ahead in the ball. Maybe he'll get better at that. I don't know. But that's not what he, he's good at. We didn't bring him in to whip in 20 crosses and him to head the ball home. It's not what we bought him for. We bought him to put the ball in the back of the net. And he's not putting the ball in the back of the net because he's not getting the chances that he needs to put the ball in the back of the net. And when he does finally get them chances, he is very likely to miss because he's very frustrated and it's been a long time since he's had that service. People name games that he's missed chances. That's because he just hasn't had chances in the build-up. There's no rhythm to his game at the moment because chances are just kind of coming to him very, very far apart and very, very randomly. Exactly. I, I refuse to accept that, you know, the odd header chance here and there is sufficient service to an elite finisher. Now, we know, the, you know, the heading side of the game isn't his strongest. So how can you say that's a, that's sufficient service? I, I, I really feel for him. I really feel for him. But, um, yeah, I'm glad you see where we're coming from, Della. And once again, really, really appreciate your super chat, man. Uh, big up P-dubs, big up boys, Joe and Hugh. What's up, guys? You must, don't hide. We can't let Chelsea get a trophy. <laughs> Um, Nabal's big up Hugh hope you're doing well please smash Chelsea so I can tease Matisse on the big six discord listen today we owe Chelsea one for like even just winning the cup aside we owe Chelsea a beating yeah two draws against us home and away is not a good look for us it's not a good look for us you know what I mean our, our big six record should be think about it, if we had won both those games which we should have won both those games we're what eight points clear right now Theoretically? No. No, because we've got two draws, so it's an extra four points to what we have yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My maths ain't matting. How many points clear are we? It's an extra four points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, so so we're, 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 we're six points clear. Yeah, we're, we are current. We are, if we beat Chelsea twice, which we should have done, because, I mean, they are sat currently in ninth. So yeah. if we beat Chelsea home and away... We're currently six points clear with six games left to go. Same pre. At that, at that point, you have to fancy us and say we've won the league. At that point, do you know what I mean? So, Chelsea, you know what I mean? You've slowed our season down, but today we have to ruin your season. We have to ruin Chelsea's season today. I, I don't not care. Ruin, um, not ruin. Not ruin. End. End their End. season. This End is all they got left. This is all they got left. This is all they got left. Let's have a look at their team sheet. I've got it up here in front of me. Petrovic, Gusto. I'm just standing at the bar with Trevor Chalaba. Disgusting. Team, <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Tiago Silva, Cucurella, Caicedo, Endo or Enzo, uh, Gallagher, Madwege, Palmer Jackson. It's such a meaty team. It's such a meaty, meaty team on paper. This lot cannot beat us. They, this lot cannot be beating us. I'm, I'm sorry. We, we on paper are. Look at our team, man. Compared to theirs, we are streets ahead of them. They cannot be getting anything off us. I mean, that Caicedo, he's going to be booting the legs off De Bruyne today. You know he's out with one job and one job only to boot the legs off De Bruyne. Enzo, I don't rate Enzo, but he'll probably dunk a screamer now in my head. Nullify Palmer, man. Rodri, Rodri, you just fucking shut down Palmer uh, and we go a long way to, to slowing them down. I mean, he scored two hat-tricks in his last two games, I think, or something like that, so he's on fire at the minute. And today is the day that he'll be saying, mm, I'm going to show you what you lot let go. I know he wanted to go on that, but you know what I mean? Um... <laughs> Clippable offence. I'm just talking facts, man. I'm just talking facts. This team shouldn't be beating us. He shouldn't have, beat... he shouldn't have got two draws against us, but it did. Like, it's just, it's one of them where I, I don't know what to expect because our record against these supposed big sides, I mean, it is a big side, but they're not very good. There's a difference between big and good, but our record against the big sides is terrible. And I really don't know which way this can go. They've had pretty much a week off. We've just done extra time and lost on penalties. So they're on a high and we're on a low. Although we are just better than them, that is just simple fact. It doesn't take a genius to work that out. So I really don't know where this one goes, but we ha we we can't play Chelsea three. We can't play a ninth place Chelsea three times in a season and not have beaten them at least once. Mm. They're ninth, man. If this was any other team but Chelsea in ninth, we'd be going. How have we not beaten these? If this was a Wolves, you know, someone like that, Crystal Palace, anyone, any one of those mid-table teams, 
we'd have expected to have beaten them at least once. But because it's Chelsea... Chelsea. Chelsea! 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 I get it, Chad. I get it. We, we do need to remain humble. We need to remain humble. Look, I'm just stating the obvious that we're a better team than them. But, of course, you know, if we don't do our job, we don't turn up correct, the players don't do what the players need to do, we, we could get turned over. Of course we can. There's, there's worse teams than Chelsea have done jobs against us. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is, man. We got to do our thing. But, you know, uh, folding out in the right wing today, again, uh, not not very satisfying, I can't lie. I thought Pep would have seen some of my content during the week and said, you know what, this Irish guy's actually talking a bit of sense. Maybe Foden should play in the middle. Maybe De Bruyne shouldn't play at all and put Bernardo uh, and Foden in the middle together and put Doku out in the wing. That's what we went for. I still have 1% hope that it is Bernardo out wide, but I, I don't see it. It's just not no going to happen. No chance. Not going to happen. 90, I'm 99, you know what? I'm changing my scales. I'm 99.9% .9 positive that it'll be Foden on the wide right. I don't like... We saw what? They switched positions on 70 minutes against Madrid, and we still don't know whether that was a pep instruction or whether they took it upon themselves to make that change. Like, we still don't know, because if Pep is so reluctant to play them both, uh, play Foden and De Bruyne in the middle. I lean towards more the players took it upon themselves to make the change, but again, I don't know. Maybe Pep decided, fuck it, we need a goal, go for it. Like, I mean, maybe that's what he decided, but we're in a situation now where it's nil nil. You know, it's not desperation time for a goal, so it's probably Foden on the right again. It, like, if Caicedo, Caicedo's going to have one job and it's going to be to kick the legs of whoever plays in the advanced midfield position. So, you know, naturally, that tends to suggest to you that he's probably going to get booked at some point. So my advice... Now, I'm in no position to give advice. I'm not a manager. And I'm not. I'm certainly nowhere near the pedigree of someone like Pep Guardiola. My advice <laughs> to Mr. Guardiola, Pep, is if that one guy in the middle of the park for Chelsea is going to go around just kicking people and picking up yellow cards, play two players that he has to kick and pick up yellow cards, and he might get sent off. Just maybe a small, you know, nudge in the right direction. Odin definitely saw your content, Huey. He's just stubborn. I mean, Pep, yeah, no, no Pep, Pep ain't watching us. <laughs> Pep ain't watching us. But, you know, maybe someday uh, he'll, t he'll, uh, he'll decide that maybe we're talking a bit of sense. But as Joe says, we're in no position to be telling Pep how to play his game. But um, we are just over five minutes away from kickoff. So, you know what I mean? The nerve is starting to build a bit. I we need to start this game fast because Chelsea's plan here is clearly, and as all the Chelsea content creators have said, is to take advantage of the fact that we should be tired. You know, 120 minutes played, penalty shootout, all the, the physical and emotional demands that come with getting knocked out of the Champions League the other night in the fashion that we did. Chelsea should Chelsea will view us as potentially vulnerable. So we need to start the game fast. We need to start the game on the front foot to not allow Chelsea to grow into the game and take control of the game. If we start allowing the game to become, you know, balanced in possession, you know, chances here and there for, for both teams... That's that's you know, that's dodgy territory. That that that's dodgy dodgy territory. So we need to be on the front foot. Um, Pochettino was speaking before the game. I'm looking at quotes here. They're all pretty boring, pretty meaty. But yeah, man, we gotta start the game in the front foot. We need De Bruyne to to somehow dig deep and find some energy levels. We need Bernardo to run the show. I'm looking at Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish is gonna be up against uh, Gusto, isn't it? Win some fouls, man. Win some fouls. Get the ball moving. Find Alvarez. Alvarez has a big role today. He has a big, big role today because while there's a lot of conversation that we've had nonstop about Erling Haaland, you know, Alvarez can come in uh, and maybe show that he can offer something um, that Al that Haaland is, you know, he's not going to offer. Haaland's a box striker who needs service. Alvarez can at least come out the pitch and uh, and, and try and pull a few strings, I suppose. So it's going to be an interesting dynamic. Is it refreshing? Is it different? Is it positive? Could ha could Alvarez take Haaland's place in the team? Who knows? Who I I don't even know no, at this point anymore. No, 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 he can't. Um, he he can't. Again, Pep's stubborn. Regardless of whether we're finding Haaland or not, if he's fit, he's gonna play. We all know this. He's just one of the first names on the team sheet because he does other stuff. Alvarez can't hold up the ball. He's tiny. 
Uh, it's one of them things. You can't get involved with the physical battle. He doesn't have the same gravity that Haaland does. He doesn't create the same space for other players around him. So no, of course not. Like, it, one of the avenues that we used a lot in the running last season was... You remember, we scored, we scored off against Arsenal. Long ball from the goalkeeper up to Haaland. He traps it, lays it off. Alvarez ain't doing that. He ain't winning no header. Mm, no, We're just yeah. taking away yeah. an avenue. Yeah. We're taking away a game plan, you know, a way of attacking, a tool out of our arsenal, a weapon out of our arsenal, however way you want to put it. We're taking one avenue of a game completely out by having Alvarez up top. There's even less diversity. When we mention being static against Real Madrid and looking like it's plan A, no plan B, Alvarez fits more into that plan A, no plan B because he's he lacks in certain areas, which is nothing down to him. He can't control that he's a bit small, but it, it's just the <laughs> truth. <laughs> I know, I get it, I get it, I get it. I, I, I don't particularly have much hope um in that sense but it's an opportunity for him the the teams are in the tunnel the teams are coming out into the pitch right now we are moments away from kickoff make sure you've all hit the like button make sure you're subscribed we're under 200 away now from 8,000 subscribers and there's a link in the chat if any of you enjoy listening to me and joe waffle a lot and you want to support us a bit more you can become a channel member join the army as i said it's what the big dogs do are you a big dog become a channel member man Wembley, man, big, big pitch. We spoke about this during the week, Joe. Um, that should work to our favour, you know what I mean? If Foden is going to play out wide, which we assume he is, there should be more space for him to manoeuvre. It's a bigger pitch than Wembley, or a bigger pitch than the Eddie had. A substantially bigger pitch than the Eddie had. So he should have a bit more room to manoeuvre. There should be a bit more room and pockets for, for Kevin De Bruyne to move around and, and you know, fashion a few chances. And also the fact that, listen, even if Chelsea do go with a, a low block, or they do you know, try to make, uh, play some terrorism football. They're not as good as Real Madrid. They're not as good as Arsenal. We, we, we should, if we have any aspirations of being a top team, still, we should be breaking this lot down. You say that, but we've struggled so much and Pep is just like, nah, mate, gonna, gonna not play two attacking midfielders. Gonna stick with the old boring stuff. I know. I'm just putting the thing in the chat saying that we will be behind. So, so any of be people watching, me. don't be spoiling until at least we've seen it, because uh, we'll be slightly behind. Changes around the game. Mm. Chelsea fans seem to have some banner on their end. I have no idea what it says, but I am curious. If anybody knows what it says, please do let me know. I wonder if this sold out, man. I wonder if this sold out. I think, I don't think, did you not see a few, it must have been a few weeks ago, maybe even a month ago, something like that, that we sold out our allocation, Chelsea didn't send back tickets that we might have sold? Well, and they're the London club and they're not selling out. Well, no, because at that point, when the tickets were on sale, they were absolutely honking, and then they've just gone and slapped a couple of teams, Everton, and you know, things are turning around, but at the point when the tickets went on sale, they looked hopeless. So a lot of people were like, I ain't going that. Mm, mm. Juan Malilo, man, my guy Juan Malilo. Uh, Puni, when will Oscar Bob get minutes? Maybe today. I mean, is today a decent day to play Oscar Bob or give him a few minutes? It kind of depends on the game. It's going, I suppose, Puni, doesn't it? I, I, I don't see any minutes in the Premier League anyway for Oscar Bob over the next six games, unless we're absolutely torching someone. You know what I mean? Like really beating someone 2-3-4-0 um, comfortably. I, I don't. I just don't see it, unfortunately, for Oscar Bob. But uh, as I've said a lot with these young players, Oscar Bob's very early, uh, or he's very early um, in his uh, development and his progression plan, the pep outlines for young players. So he'll probably get more next season. He'll probably get more next season. Why are Chelsea wearing gold on the back of their shirt? Don't they usually wear white? Were their name, no, their name printings? No, no. When it's, well, when it's Premier League, yeah, but same thing with us. You know, I remember when, a couple of years ago when we had the, like, digital clock numbers in the Champions League. Like, look at our numbers, oh. they're, they're blue, they're dark blue, our numbers are dark blue. Like, it's just a different printing for, because with the Premier League, it is white, but every other competition usually have a different printing. I don't know why. Yeah, but gold is insinuating that you're some sort of winners, and they're absolutely not winners. Yeah, but it looks cold, doesn't it? So, <laughs> it does look a bit cold. David says Chelsea did sell their tickets. That's you told, Joe. 
done. So I'm just trying to remember what I saw. I thought they didn't sell out tickets. Maybe they did. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend like I watched here, a man. live yeah. feed of the tickets and and, <laughs> and I knew which one sold. I would expect a London club to sell out their allocation of Wembley. It's right around the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. About half an hour, 45 minutes from West London to, to Wembley. Um, I remember and I couldn't get one. Oh, right. Yeah. I would have thought I'll check. I would have thought you'd be able to get one if you're there a was, member. There was a Wembley. City fan in for one of the last streams that we did saying that he was a season ticket holder and he waited too long. I think he said he was on holiday or something. And he came back and all the tickets were out. Yeah, I think it was uh, Craig party time. He just missed out. I'm off. So, I am fun. off. I right. am officially off. I will pause at 10 seconds. I'm kicking off now in a sec. Foden has the ball to center circle. Can you hear me, yeah? I can, I can. I paused. I'm on 12 seconds because he didn't pause at 10. I'm off now. I'm off now. Guys, you can sync up with us, man. You can sync up with us uh, at the timer. Uh, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 11, 12, 13, 14. Are we synced up? Yeah. Just about. You might be a split All second right, ahead up. of me, but that doesn't matter. I'll see it at pretty much the same time. Foden looks like he's in the middle. Foden does look like he's in the middle. And Bernardo Silva looking like he's out in the right wing. We're off anyway, boys. We're off. This is it. FA Cup semi-final. We are not going out of two cups in one week. I'm sorry, we are not going out of two cups in one week. No. Today we win. Today we win. I do not want extra time. I do not want penalties. I want a convincing win over this dumb Chelsea team. If we go Golden extra time again, is already... if, if we go extra time again, I swear to God, I don't need it in my life. Uh, quit, watch quit watch along to that point, man. No, no we're cursed at that point. We are Every cursed time. for here on out if it goes extra time again. We will stop. Yeah. For the sake of our Bowden football club, we in midfield. Bowden definitely midfield, which is filling me with a lot of joy. Abraham! Oof. Good tackle, Thiago Silva. Go on, Grealish, give it right. This oh. Grealish, oh. man. Dead ball. No hairband, Grealish, today. No hairband. I was looking, at, I was looking at the chat. I didn't even see Alvarez was potentially in. What happened here? Cucurella. Oh, hospital Cucurella, pass. dodgy pass. Oh. Dodgy pass. I yeah, think Grealish gives that man. idea to Bernardo Silva. We might have a, might have an avenue. Gets the pass wrong. Chelsea have an interesting setup here, man. They have an interesting setup. Palmer's in the ten. Sometimes he's on the right, but he's in the ten. Rodri, he's your man. Action, Jackson! Oi! Don't make me start talking about murder cases again. <laughs> he could have killed him. He could have been killed. He I'm could've getting been that. I'm, I, I missed the trick, then I? Do you know what I'll do? You did. You did. Do you know, you did. Do you know what I'll do? I'll get it on a soundboard for next time. I don't think I can do it now without messing about with it. Oh, I, I could try. Get, get a counter on the screen. Get a counter on the screen for every he time. Could've I say he could have been counter. killed, counter. One, two. <laughs> 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 Man like Ortega, you know. Good to see I found John it. Stones oh my god, I game. found one. I found one. Let me see if it works. Hold on. Joe on a soundboard, man, yeah. Let's see if it works. There's a kanji. kanji. Oi! Oi! That Jackson it guy thinks he's Paul Pogba oh. with that haircut, doesn't he? You're not Paul Pogba, mate. I got it, I got it, I got it. He could have been killed. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I don't know why Akanji's pushing forward again. If Pep's doing this thing where he's got John Stones on the pitch and Akanji's going forward, I might lose me shit. Yeah. Who's on Chelsea's left wing? It is... Uh, they don't have a left winger, do they? It'd be, it looks like Gallagher. Gallagher's playing left wing back. Look at him. Yeah. Kind of, kind of. Gallagher, funny. Kind of. They, well, they've got an, like an attacking midfield three of Madueke, Palmer and Gallagher. Gallagher seems to be on the left. They're not really playing with a left winger. Press, Does that kind of nullify press. Kyle Walker a little bit if they're yes, not playing yes, with a right yes, winger? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, throwing ref. That's Where are you? Yo, 
we're, we're putting this Chelsea defence under serious pressure when they're in possession. I like that, man. I like that. Thiago Silva looks a bit shaky already. So does Cucurella. Have to add a fucking thing for that he could have been killed. A little button been. that I can press for it. I've got the because I had the... <laughs> used to play that for Super Chats, but I don't got that anymore. Oh, I do have it now. score. Yeah, I really could do that. I just need to find that could have been killed. So Alex Ferguson could have been killed. Come on, put more pressure on their defence, man. It's good early David, pressure. you're a Chelsea fan. David's a Chelsea fan. How confident are you about today, man? How are you feeling about it? I want to know from a Chelsea perspective. Because they've We're been playing well and we haven't. <laughs> We're pressing high up the pitch, man. Here's Palmer with his first touch. Run stones into oh, he's him. Give it away. Oi! Ref! I told you, man, that Caicedo. I told you that Caicedo, Don. He's just out there to, to, to foul people. He's just he there to foul killed. people. I've... He could have been killed. Could have been killed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, Kyle. Yeah, I was Kyle, about man. to say, does does Chelsea not playing with a you know an out and out winger on the left, not a left winger, nullify Kyle Walker a little bit? What do you mean? Because he's in there for defensive purposes. Does them not having a left winger kind of nullify him if he's not going to have like a man to mark? Yeah, probably just go higher up the pitch. That's not a good thing. <laughs> Greenish. David says, will be tough, but longer it goes, better for us. Yeah, I agree. I agree. For, from a Chelsea perspective, the longer you go without conceding, the better. It's a that, good that, defensive that's plan. Right. It's a good defensive plan. They're setting up in a 5-4-1 defensively. They're parking the bus. They've done their own work. But Caicedo's playing as an extra centre-half in there a lot of the time. And they've got a midfield four mm. in front of that. So they, they, they've set up to oh, just soak mm. up pressure and counter a Kanji's been spun. Go on, Ake. Berlina. A foul! Are you mad, ref? No, no, no. He's saying he got the ball. Good, 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 good. But uh, they've do done it. their own do work. Do they've done their own work. Jackson and Palmer is a two. I mean, they're the they're the two danger player. Well, Palmer's the danger player. Nicholas Jackson is just fast. He probably suits a counter attack. What's Walker oh, doing? Palmer. What's Walker Palmer. doing? Is Jackson Jackson good save? Good save. Good save. What's Walker doing? Faffing about doing Cruyff turns in his own half. I'm Leave half it out. Turn we got. Oh man! Giving Roger a horrible position there. Ake dropping too deep there as well with the line playing him on side. He slips when he shot. That's why he didn't do anything with it. Comfortable save. But why is Walker doing Cruyff turns, man? Fucking Captain Fantastic. Off he goes. Did you see his Last Twitter? Time we did a Cruyff turn. No. He was the only player after Madrid that I saw anyway on Twitter that didn't post a picture of the team. He posted a picture of himself being like, oh, hard luck. Some captain. Oh, you're ref, man. He's not a very good captain. A good player. No, nah, he's, he's not a guy. He, do, he doesn't rank up there at all with, with Vinny or Gundo or Fernandinho. We have much Stras better Cap. leaders in the squad, but... Go on, Ake, deal with him. <laughs> Come on, boys. So better Born start than Madrid. Better start than Madrid. We're playing a bit quicker. Connor in the last two games has, what does that say? Man match Man Rodri. Rodri. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what he's there for. Conor like Gallagher's good. Conor Gallagher's good for that. He's he's just a hard worker, Gallagher, isn't he? Like he's not he's not really a gifted footballer, but he's a very hard worker, and I'll give him credit for that. Uh, he's good in this sort of game where he can do where he's it, basically like Ander Herrera. He was told to remember when Ander Herrera was told to just stick on Hazard for ninety minutes. That's what Gallagher yeah. does. Gallagher, you could just tell him to stick on someone for 90 minutes. He'll do it. He'll do a job. All right, Tottenham are in for a minute. Corner in. Get rid. Get rid. 
Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Some big smash up the pitch. Chelsea enjoying a bit of possession here now the last few minutes. Well done, Alvarez. Well done, Alvarez, lad. Go on, Rodri. You big tired fucker, you. <laughs> Go on, Kev. Corner City. Oh, I, I, no, I you know what? I was going to say, the, the first corner of the game, I always forget. I'm always like, yes, corner. Then I always remember, we are shit at corners. We had 16 against Madrid, and all of them were absolutely terrible. <laughs> Garbage, garbage. You think with the big players we had in the pitch against Madrid, Rodri, Akanji, Haaland, um, Diaz, Spadio. You know, <laughs> someone, someone's bound with 16 to get a header on one of them. Alvarez hitting a child in Rosette. Never mind, back stick. Exactly, punny just, man. The corners, they don't fill me with anything. Just fucking... Uh, how long have we been saying it might as well just be a goal kick? I think at one point against Madrid, we actually celebrated the fact that the ref gave a goal kick when he should have given a corner. I think we were like, thank God we don't have to see a corner. They stink, man. They absolutely stink. We need a proper set-piece coach because whoever it is isn't doing the job right. Yeah, set-pieces all around corners. Wide free kicks. We're not very good at doing anything from those because they're basically like corners. We need someone to teach these players how to take penalties as well, because, my God, forget the shootout, mm -hmm. just penalties in general. <laughs> Joe Hart's class of penalties. You see, he won, he won the penalty shootout for Celtic today. Did he? Yeah, he took oh, a penalty. Alvarez. Oh, Thank he, God Joe Palmer Hart took a penalty shoot. for Celtic. He, Joe Hart took a penalty to win the game for Celtic in the penalty shootout, missed the penalty, steps up to obviously sit to, to defend the, the Aberdeen penalty, saves that. So he missed his own penalty and then saved the penalty to win it. Do you know when you said yeah. you weren't sure whether we'd had a penalty shootout in the Champions League or ever in European competition? I remember now actually seeing one penalty shootout on, I can't remember which competition it was. I believe it was a, it could have been Europa League, because I think it was against Roma. Joe Hart scored a penalty and saved the penalty for us. Yeah, Joe, Joe Hart's a really good um, penalty saver. Really good. One, one of the best in the business at his peak. It's mad. He's get, taking a penalty. Get like... the match one. <laughs> get uh, the match one. <laughs> anyone know anybody with a match one Joe Hart shirt? I think I could even afford one of those. <laughs> uh, Puni, it is half past five where we are, my friend. Yeah, man. <laughs> Oi, Kyle! Oh, my God. What are you doing? God. Gallagher. He, wants, he wanted to shoot there. Chelsea yeah, fans did. might have crucified him if he did. Go on, Grealish. Stand him up. Well done, Jack. Walker, man, he's a liability these days. Hey, Grealish, Grealish is a better defender than Walker at the moment. He, every time he's in possession, Walker, I, I cringe. I'm like, <laughs> what the hell are you doing? That was his own fucking Gerrard moment there, slipping on his ass. He's lucky it fell to Conor Gallagher and not Demba Ba. <laughs> he is, honestly, every Wait. time every time I see a, a close-up shot of Kyle Walker with the armband on, it makes me wince a little bit. I'm like, I can't believe this guy is my captain. Like, he's good for the occasion, like the occasional match when he needs to defend like a tricky winger, but he's one, not a leader, and two, not very good at really much else apart from that. He's not, man. He's not. He's been so bad this season. There's been, he's had a couple of good games, but he's had a couple of absolute shockers. Here's for a chance to break. This is it now. This is it. Chance to break. Something we didn't do against Real Madrid. Is that a good ball? Is that a good ball? It's a great ball. It's a good, good. touch. Good touch. Good touch. It's good touch. Literally no support. Look at the amount of Chelsea players compared to the amount of our players. Good okay. pass. Oh. Bowden. Oh. oh, he fucked it. He fucked it. The keeper oh. did well. The keeper did well there to recover. Why is a Kanji on the edge of the box? Oh. Man, is the the, the balls fall into a kanji on the edge of the box again? 
that was a big chance, man. It's actually a really great pass from Kevin De Bruyne. Is he onside? Yeah, he's well on. It's a great ball from Kevin. Great ball. Foden takes it. The keeper does, does a good job. Well, well, man. Because he doesn't get the ball, he gets the man. Yeah, he does a really good... Oh, Kev, what are you doing? Corner. Corner. Right. <laughs> two, two corners so far. Alvarez almost put it out for a goal kick. Now De Bruyne has put it out for a goal kick. Tell I can man. forgive Corners him because that, that ball was great. But look at the replay. Look, yeah. Petrovic gets none of the ball. He clips Foden. Foden goes down. He might be a shout for a penalty. It is a shout for a penalty. But he's too, no. he's too modest, man. We don't, we don't, mm. we don't, we're not like Salah. We're not like none of these guys. We don't just dive. If he goes Neymar's down, it's a plan. I really do worry if City loses this game. Pep will kick his players up down the training pitch, which will mean you guys go and beat him with the remaining games. I don't know, many balls, man. I don't know. I like, find it. I mean, I'd love to know if anybody has the numbers on this. When was the last time we lost three games in a row? Oh, um, just like I, out there, the last time we lost three on the bounce, all competitions. I I vaguely remember. It's been a long I can, time. I vaguely remember, but I can't tell you. It's 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 since we're on YouTube, like it's 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 in the last two three years. Yeah, but it's it's still it's been a while. Like it's not something that happens often. Losing three on the bounce. No. We can drop points on three on the bounce or not win, you know, in three, but losing three in a row. Because when you've lost, it's a rarity because you lose two in a row, especially in the type of games like we said. Going out of two competitions in a week, Pep won't allow that. He won't be having that. There will be some no. rockets fired up some asses in that dressing room. Kanji really is playing the John Stones role while John Stones is on the pitch. I don't understand. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. I think Pep's just trying to make it interesting and trying to like handicap us and play with our emotions. Because why is a kanji uh, playing higher up than Jack Grealish when you've got John Stones on the pitch? Uh, Jay Don, I, I can't show the actual game, man. You, you, YouTube, YouTube don't allow that. YouTube don't allow that, man. We would be, we would be taken down pretty quickly. Do a, do a sneaky, put some glasses on, have it reflecting off the glasses. Watch it there. <laughs> so, yeah. I I always remember this one. This one guy on Twitch streamed a UFC pay per view event by pretending to play the UFC game with a controller in his hand, watching the UFC. And he was like, "I'm playing." He, he, he pretended to play the game with a controller in his hand. And I don't know if he got away with it in the end, but it was smart. It's a good idea. But you couldn't <laughs> pretend this was. You couldn't pretend this was FIFA. Not a chance. No. no. Here comes Jackson down the left wing, cuts in, shoots, no. Absolute. Yeah, it wouldn't matter if he's going to keep it in. Was that a shot or a cross? You tell me. I don't think he really knows himself. <laughs> yeah, I like how you said, you said he cut inside. As soon as you said he cut inside, he cut back, went around the outside. Mm. Nice. And okay. Thiago okay. Silva puts it out for a throw in. I don't get this whole Akanji experiment. What is happening? I have no idea. Pep is sabotaging. John Stones did really well there to shepherd him. The second time Jackson slipped on his ass trying to kick the ball. Oh, he stood at half time. He doesn't hold back, I say, though, does he? No, he should. Do you not remember? He should have been sent off. In the yes. game of the Etihad, he should have been sent off. Got away with it. What was going in the game again? Two each. One one. One one. One one. But Kaiseido should have been sent off. He was on a yellow, and he started. He was on a yellow, and he kept kicking people. It's such a weird setup. John Stones is the middle centre back of a three, and Akanji is sat next to Rodri. 
I don't quite understand what is going on there. Switch. Switch. Oh, the switch was Look, on. Look, he's just... I can't do, man. He's just... Polar bear in Arlington, Texas, is what I'd say about this at the moment. Why is Akanji stood next to Cole Palmer and like he stood in between Cole Palmer and Kaizado? Alvarez, shoot, shoot, shoot! Oh, came off the Bruyne. Get out of your way! <laughs> he did well, Alvarez. There um, to get a shot offside flag went up anyway because the Bruyne was in the way. He did do well. He did do well. Um, you guys ever play Championship Manager? Uh, Joe might have. Um, no, no, Championship Managers before my time. Uh, I play Football Manager though, plenty of times. Oh no! Please give goal kick. <laughs> <laughs> no, he gave offside. Luckily, because the Bruyne was in the way of the Alvarez shot, would have been a goal kick anyway. So we don't have to watch a corner putting it. Don't you worry. Great, I feel old now. I'm sorry, I'm just... I never played Championship Manager. I do know what it is, though. The the OGs remember Championship Manager. I'm sorry, if I made you gamer than me. I'm sorry if I made you feel old. I feel young. I always feel out of place. If you ask me a football trivia question pre-like... Sounds bad because I'm a City fan as well, but you asked me a football trivia question like before the 2010s, I probably can't give you an answer. <laughs> Showing your age. We've, we, we've played trivia before, haven't we? Just, just like off stream and stuff. We've played trivia before. I'm absolutely horrific when it comes to like 2000s stuff. I'm pretty decent for trivia. I only got into Football Manager, I think my first one was 20, and we're on 24, so that's four Football Managers. I mean, make Ortega stay, I'd say little to no chance, Punny. Little to no chance, mate. He only has one year left in his contract after their, after this season, so he's going to go, man. He needs to play first-team football. A sticky situation with Ortega, isn't it? Because on the one hand, he has a family. Like, I'm pretty sure he just had a kid this season. Um... So, you know, he's got a child now. So, he's in that sort of range where he's, what, 30? He's, I think he's 30, he might be 29, I don't know. Anyway, he's not like a spring chicken. He's not a spring chicken, but goalkeepers have long careers, but he's, you know, fairly old. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. he's in that sort of range where he's kind of valuing more security in his life in terms of staying in one place, especially if he's got a kid. Like, if you've got a child, you want to make sure you're sticking around, you're not moving across Europe. So, I don't know. Maybe if we throw enough money at him? I don't know. Um, But he's not going to be number one. Not a chance. So, it all depends no. on him. Here's Enzo being tracked by Bernardo. Well done, Foden. Action Jackson doing his back heels. Do you regret selling Palmer? Nope. I think it was a mistake, but I don't regret it. You can't have regrets in football. You can dwell on them too much. Like is what was here's a question then. What's the last regrettable decision that we made as a football club? Joining the Super League. I was gonna say maybe apart from that, because that's a bit of an easy cop out. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like when was the last time you were, we sold a player or we bought a player and you said we should oh, really regret doing that I bought a player is more hindsight but like selling a player uh, Gundo yeah it's kind of recent isn't it this summer was horrible yeah, yeah. Oh. we're not Hope controlling it. this game you know uh, I'd say the possession stats are fairly even I, I quite like it because Maybe we'll create some chances if Chelsea are open and we're not controlling the game. But, uh... Just, oh... Good defending by Ake. Go on, Grillo, that's yours. Never mind. He's off shade. <coughs> um. <sighs> Do I know where Australians can watch the game? Mm. 
I can't say I'm familiar with one. Australian TV. This is on for us. It's on BBC, but get a VPN, J Don. Bit of a slow game, you know. Yeah, slow burner. All right, here we go. Grealish. Grealish has started off quite well. <laughs> you take a gammy touch as soon as you said that. You should stop opening your mouth. <laughs> um, I have this thing where everything I say, everything I bet on, everything I predict goes wrong. Oh, do I remember some of the more recent bets you've taken? Car walk across goes to nowhere. Yeah. You're always let down by that one leg. Always one leg. I'm such a bad gambler. Such a bad <laughs> Always one leg lets me down, man. Hey, look at Rodri. He's walking around already like he's knackered. He is knackered, man. He was knackered before he stepped onto the pitch. Look, he's still just walking around, mate. It's not like... Pep. No movement. You no bought movement. Kovacic, brev. You bought him. <laughs> what? Oh, mate. Oi. Um, I'm not hating here, but I do think not enough has talked about your signings last summer. Vardy all is top, but you guys did spend 250 million on the team. I, was, I, I agree. I, I don't think that yeah. the business last is good enough, to be honest. But yeah, but I, 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 think, I think Doku is top. Like, his ceiling is so high. But recently as well, he's been very, very good. So, I think, I think you have a couple. What we needed this season, though, for, 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 for this season, I don't think we did the correct business. I think for future, yeah. Vardy, all Doku, you know, they'll probably be very good in the future. Vardy has been good this season. Corner City, oh, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Might but as well yeah, just keep I mean, the conversation going. <laughs> Fuck the game. We, we, didn't, um, we didn't replace the, the quality we had with quality for right now. Nayballs. No. Nope. Which is, uh, leads you to believe we'll probably make up for it in the summer because that's what we do. If, we, if there's not the options on the table at the time, then we just wait. Um, remember Harry Kane? We put in a bid. They said no. We waited for Haaland. We still won a league title in the in between part. Hello, Justin Guess. Good to see you, my friend. Ponit Gundomar has not been replaced. That's the thing, man. That's the thing. It doesn't take a genius to work that out. We, uh, we dropped off quality-wise going forward, for sure. But, yeah. You know, big summer ahead. Big summer ahead. Mahrez's Pretty direct sure. involvement has not been replaced. Bonin! Bonin! Someone! Oh! Oh, off the line! Offside, anyway. We're, having... We're coming close. That's We're coming close. Offside. That's two big chances, though, we've created. That's two big chances. We are getting in behind them. We are breaking them down a bit. Bernard Alvarez Greenish, hitting one off De Bruyne and now an offside header from Bernardo. Oh, well, Foden's offside there. Bernardo Those Silva are, coming at the back. Play, though. Bernardo Silva so overrated. Are you mad, Jadon? Hmm. Two goals against Real Madrid last season. Champions League semi-final. Okay. Bernardo's one of our best ever players. Literally. The people who say, oh, I don't know whether you fit to this category, Jay don't, but uh, I find the most people that, you know, the, the majority of the people who say Bernardo Silva is overrated, they just look at his stats and say, oh, he doesn't score goals, he doesn't score loads of goals, get loads of assists. But uh, yeah, when when's your right winger turned out at left back in a title race? Unless you're Arsenal and you can class Bakayo Saka. Limited Saka, I call him. Bakayo left backer. Bakayo Touching. limited soccer. I can't believe he actually broke through at Arsenal as a left back. Fucking wild. He's a decent left back as well. I know. He's good at going forward. Ball over the top. Chase that, Julian lad. Chase that. He's done. What, he's done all right. He's just not strong. Is he? he's just not big. 
Be bullied. He's off, ref. He's way off. He's way off. He's what? He's, he's not going to score. He's not going to score. He's <laughs> he's fu- he has absolutely fucked that. Bottle man Jackson. Action Bottle man, man Jackson, Jackson has absolutely. He's cocked that one up so bad. Awful trim as well. How can you be through over the top? Ref, linesman hasn't put his flag up. Lino ain't put his flag up. Through one on one against the goalkeeper, try and take it round him and mess it up. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't think he's that good, Jackson. He's not clinical enough. He's a good yeah. runner, he's a road runner. And Cole Palmer. Palmer. And through. Corella through cross. Keepers. They are also getting in behind us. Funny, you're right. It's this is this is an open game, man. This is for anyone to take so far. We're half an hour in and no one's really taken the game by the scruff of the neck and said this is ours. That big Wembley pitch. A big Wembley. Wembley lasagna. Here's Greenish. <laughs> play him, play him, play him. That's a good ball. Go on, Kev! Pen, oh, penalty! Good defend- good. <laughs> no. It's good defending. Um, Justin, you enjoy. I really like your content. Appreciate you, Justin, man. I'm glad you enjoy it. Good ball. It's good defending from... I'm sat at the bar with Trevor Chalabar. Uh, Jackson's in his own way. half. He's on slide there. He's in his own half. Yeah, Punit's the same as us, man. He, he, he knows the corners are dead. But it should be on the stream with us, man. <laughs> Another one. Another should, I one. Add, should I add a corner counter onto the stream? No, 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 no. I don't want to see that shit. He could have been Let's killed. Let's for airplanes like Kev, man. I'm going to see if I can yeah, cook yeah. up a... Uh, could have been killed counter. I think I played it, what, three times? Is that okay? Kanji. Play him, play him, play him. Too late, too late, too late, too late, too late, too late. Too late. Our two centre halves are combining down the left wing. Pep, this is not football. Where's the total football gone? You've got two centre halves playing left wing. What is you know this? What, man? I think this game is made for Jeremy Doku on the right wing. I'm surprised he didn't start. Yeah. Really surprised, given the Foden, Bernardo, and De Bruyne all played, you know, against Madrid. De Bruyne got taken off in extra time. Foden, Bernardo played the entire match extra time. I'm surprised all three of them started. I really am. I think it's made for Doku, man. Just straight swap Bernardo for Doku. I think it's made for him. They have no left winger, so they're not going to double up properly on Doku. Gone greenish, that's your answer. Who's going to win the golden boot? Oh. I put good money on Palmer at this point, considering he's the yeah. only thing Chelsea got going and he takes pens. Uh, I'd give Palmer a good chance, yeah. But goal kick, okay. Yes, um, goal kick! <laughs> I don't want a corner. Stop <laughs> complaining, Foden. I don't want a corner. You don't want one either. Oi, we got a new channel member. We got a new channel member. Big up Eric040. Welcome to the Big Dogs Army. You are now part of the HMTV Army Club. We are a special elite group of people in this world, and you are now a member of that elite group of people. Big up Eric, my guy. Welcome, 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 Eric. Big up Eric. Um, massively appreciate you becoming a member, Eric. It really does help us, and you're a legend. Um... Play, play a siren, Joe. That's for you, Eric. That's for you. Anybody else wants to be a member like Eric? There's a link in the chat now. Eric says big up as well. Big up to you, my brother. And the incoming moderator. Yeah, you're a moderator now, Eric. Anybody becomes, a, anybody becomes a channel member, you become a moderator too. As a token of appreciation from myself and Joe. There's a link as well in the community page if you want to... Join the Discord as well. Got people in there talking football. Mm-hmm. They might be talking right now about the game. I don't know. I can't see. Here's Bernardo. Oh, he's trying to lob the keeper. <laughs> that was a that was a mess. Try to lob the keeper from the edge of the box. I I looked up and saw Rodri stumbling over nothing. 
He just fell over his own feet, I think. Or was it Kai Sado? No, Kai Sado's come and tried to trip him up from behind. Uh, Spink says Bernardo signed for somebody else already because he's been missing so far. Uh, he had the header. Yeah, he, had the header he had the header that went close. He tried whatever the hell that was. I don't know what yeah. that was. Okay. Oh, he's off. He's off. He has to be off. No, he's Don't on. Square. Square. He's definitely on. Well done, Walker. Walker. That's yours. And he's through balled it straight to Madueke. Well done, Stones. Jesus yeah, Christ. Done. What Dude. a mess. <laughs> what the... Defensively, what are we doing? Oi, careful. What are we doing? De Bruyne's almost just played fucking action, man. Jackson through. You're playing for the wrong team. You used to play for Chelsea. You don't anymore. What are we doing? Grealish is playing left back. Where's Ake going? Ake is so high up the pitch that he's just swapped positions with Grealish. I remember this happening. Do you remember when we were there against Crystal Palace at home and Vardio was playing left wing and Grealish was playing left back? Mm. I don't get it. Same thing with the Stones Akanji thing. Why is Akanji playing where Stones should be playing and why Stones playing where Akanji should be playing? I don't get it. We had an attacking uh, avenue before of a Kanji playing on the left wing, playing a slide rule pass to Ake on the left. Oh, sweet mother of God. <laughs> That's a leggy shot if I've ever seen one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, City. Come on. This has been... A com a, this has been an absolutely dreadful stretch of football. Madrid, Madrid, slow, static, uninspiring. I mean, what are we doing? Defensively, I'm worried, man. Chelsea can Chelsea can score here. Chelsea can absolutely score goals here if we keep going the way we're going. Go so Jackson's almost gone out onto the left. That's really oh, good football. That's Chelsea. good football. Really good football. I say though, you wallad. Oh, okay. Oh my god, what are we doing? What are we at, man? Defensively, we're all over the shop. Ake's just slipped over, almost played Madueke in again. I think Madueke's got more service from our defenders than anyone else. Probably. There goes, I'm at the bar with Trevor Cello Bar. No one's picked him up. Don't let him shoot, don't let him shoot, don't let him don't shoot. Don't bring shoot. him down oh. either. Save. Oh, my God. What are we playing at? Why is Alvarez in the box? What are we actually doing? What is the game plan? What, are, what, what is are we happening doing here? What, what are we at here? Like, what, 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 what is this? What, what am I watching? What, what are going on? What, what the, the hell, hell are going, going on? on? What the hell are going on? What the hell are going on, man? Oh, mate, I don't... What are we playing at this uh, this fucking season? Where is... Ake and Stones are swap positions. Oh, yeah. Rodri Palmer, looks just are. absolutely dead. If Palmer goes down there, it's a pen. And you know he scores it as well. Good save, Ortega, but Rodri looks dead. De Bruyne is walking about as well. I just... Um, I'm at a loss. We've got too many tired players on the pitch. <laughs> You can tell we played a Champions League extra time the other night. Oi, referee, come on, man. There's too many tired players on the pitch. We've got a couple of players walking about and Chelsea are just cutting through us like we're not there. What what actually is going on here? Like, what, what actually am I watching? Bob would cook here. I, you know what? Oscar Bob, Rico Lewis, Jeremy Doku, all three of them would be fresh as a daisy right now. Which is why I'm so just, why is Doku not started? He came on, made a world of difference against Real Madrid. He was a big, he played a massive part in the goal that we scored. It was his cutback that ended up falling to De Bruyne. And, mm. you know, he didn't start against Madrid. He's fresh. He don't play that often, as of recent. I ain't not using him. He should have started, man. He should have started instead of Bernardo. The... The main thing that's wrong with this team at the moment is we look tired. It looks like there's something wrong. And we made four changes from the team that played against Madrid. What, are we, what am I watching, people? What am I watching? 
Palmer to be honest yeah he was man if he went down there David he's getting a penalty it's for like sure. Foden yeah. before Foden goes down he wins a pen but wants to stay on his feet tries to score a goal Palmer had Rodri done there he done him oh dear yes here's a chance now here's a chance to break don't go back don't go backwards oh mate this is absolutely dreadful this this really is shit this is not good this is two this is bordering on two games now where we've been absolutely so off it horrible Big up Lance, man. Silva looks knackered. He does. But um, Doku or Oscar Bob, one of them should have started this game, in my opinion. Now, um, can we simulate the rest of the season like FIFA? <laughs> I'd love nothing more. Get me to the oh, last game you... of the season where the league might be on the line. No, no. If we drag you in deep waters, we will get success. Well, I think we were in deep waters before the game started, David. Man, we we're just tired. We're like we're we're knackered. Look at us. This is not City playing at their best. Jesus Christ. Oh, dear. It's just... I'm, I've never... I've never looked... Like, I've never seen this version of this team. Like, a team as experienced as we are just looks so lost. There's been early versions of the Pep Guardiola team. There's been, like, that one season where we completely fell off a cliff and ended up with no centre-halves version where we've looked bad. And that's granted, we look bad because we were bad. But this team's not bad. <laughs> no, we just bad. look lost. Grealish got a bit of space here. He's gonna go backwards. He's gonna go backwards. No, no, he lost it. Rather a throw in than a corner, though. This game is not good. We need to lift the intensity, but I don't know if we physically can. I actually don't know if we can physically lift it any more than we're playing right now. Now, one-on-one, -on -one, Grealish, do something. Do something. Kev? Oh, no! Too much! Too much! We're always trying to walk the ball into this the net. Someone just guy. pulled the trigger. Why are we always trying to walk it into the net? Just De Bruyne pull the goddamn trigger! Does De Bruyne know he can shoot? Oh, my fucking stream's lagging now. Wow, referee. That's Kai Saido. Book him, ref. Free kick on the edge of the box. Will you pause it for like three or four seconds, Joe? What time are you on? 42, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm on 17. 14, 16, 17, 18. We should be good now. Yeah, we're good. Pause timer on the stream as well. Let it catch up. The viewers watching that was that home. was good football. That was good football. I don't know why De Bruyne didn't just pull the trigger. We're always, always trying to walk it into the net. Anyway, opportunity probably not. Hit Where's this target, free man. kick? Should... Let's 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 play a guessing game. Bingo, bingo. Where's this ending up? Free kick. What, 25 yards out on the left-hand side Just of the box? It, right. Just slightly left. Where's this ending up? Wall, Rosette. Foden, oh, it's crossed, and it's oh, out for a goal that? kick. If any of you at home you... said goal kick, corner probably. Not, not far off. You're the closest out of my thought process anyway. But anyone at home who said got a goal kick, ding, 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 three points. If you could donate those three points to our Premier League um, title challenge, that'd be massively appreciated. I don't know whether you can. 
Like, or Spinks, you're right, man. This is garbage. We are making Chelsea look good. We're making Chelsea look a lot better and ourselves look a lot worse than we actually are. The Kanji. That's it, Foden. Ken. Well, you know, Kanji. Oh, that's a good tackle. It's a good tackle. Ah. It's a good tackle. I can't... Ref, I can't fucking argue agree. Get up, then, De Bruyne. Yeah, we up. are making them look good. We're making them look good. We are. He kept that in. They have... Jesus fucking Christ. That just kind of sums up what Chelsea are. And we're making that look good. Ref, is that's he Kai ever going to get again. Kai Is he ever going to get booked? Kai Sado booked, finally. I should have done Kai Sado four or more fouls. You know that? I'd be a millionaire. This Jesus. Guy, man, that, that is about his far foul, and he's taking him for that to get a booking. This guy, he's immune to bookings. Like, it's good link-up long... play. One touch, one, two, give and go. Grealish is away. Like, Grealish is away there. They could play a... You know, he's got... He has to get the final ball, right? But he's like, directly running towards the penalty box. He's going to get sent off today, Caicedo. He has to. Second half, Pep was sorted, but we have to be careful they don't hit us. I don't know what, what happened against do. Madrid. Madrid hit us in the first half because we were so fucking all over the place. The Shoot. second half. Come on, pass it back. Pass it back. What the fuck oh is that? Oh my god. That what boy, is that? He, he stinks. He stinks. This is ass, man. This he is had, ass. He had that one ball to Foden where Foden tried to go around the keeper. Apart from that, he's actually been bad. Uh, very bad. His final ball's been awful. He's the little flick on that he tried to do for Alvarez where he should be shooting. The corner that we took short and he put out for a goal kick. He hoofed one from the halfway line that went straight to Chelsea's goalkeeper. And now he's done that. Armor. We're uh, one minute away from half time. Brian needs to get his fucking passing boots on. He needs to switch up, switch them out at half time. Because if he's going to take it upon himself to play the final ball, it needs to be better. We are so nonchalant. I know we are. This is it's slow, man. It's tired football. This is tired, tired football, man. We're making Chelsea look like a good team here. We really are. Look. Space. Defensively all over the place. Trying to walk the ball into the net in the attack. Just get to half time, man. Blow it up, ref, man. All right, that's half time, man. That's half time. That's a dead half. It's a that's truly, a half. truly, truly shocking game of football from us again. We yeah. had we had two, two, maybe three decent chances, but other than that, we're trying to walk the ball into the net. We're giving Chelsea so much space. Our high line, they're trying to exploit. This is depressing stuff, man. This is depressing stuff. This is slow, tired, lethargic football. This is a team. This is this is football played by a team that has had a Champions League extra time game during the week. This is this is tiring, man. This is making me tired to look at. I don't know. I don't even know. Subs. It has to just be subs. Is 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 the way forward with this? It has to be. Doku, Bob, Rico, whoever. Bring on some goddamn energy, man. This is depressing. I am depressed. I am finding it hard to watch this. This is not good. This is not good football from City. Like, whatever about being tired, whatever about not playing to a high intensity, it's the simple things like trying to walk the ball into the net, pull the goddamn trigger, outside the box, whatever. You know, work the keeper, do something. Because right now it's just... Oh, I don't even know, man. I, I, I mean, I mean I, I've mean, i sat back, I've kicked my feet up, I'm relaxing, like... In my mind, there's not even a game of football on. I don't want it. 
the, the, the like there we go that sums it up doesn't it the xg philosophy half time 0 0.16 for us 0 0.28 for chelsea it's fucking dreadful mate like we're not doing we're not doing anything chelsea are just kind of calm they're sat there Ch i wouldn't even say right chelsea aren't even parking the bus they're not no, even they're like not, defending they're well in. Chelsea the game is play. open. The game's open, and we just look so void of ideas. The final wrong, the final ball today, it has been absolutely fucking abysmal. Whether it be corners, free kicks from open play, it doesn't matter. We've had one time where it's come off, and that was the Phil Foden one where he's tried to go around the keeper. That was the only time we got the final ball right. Everything else for that forty-five minutes, wrong, completely wrong. The final ball was terrible. It was going out for goal kicks, throw-ins. We were getting corners, which were going out for goal kicks. It was just the, the delivery into the penalty area, the service, again, where we talk about Haaland, the service, the chances we're creating. You can throw the, uh, however many shot numbers you want to me that we had against Real Madrid. I don't care about shot numbers. I watch football with my eyes. And what I'm watching here is we're creating for call. I know. Uh, there's 45 people in the building. Make sure you've hit the like button, people, and make sure you're subscribed if you're new. Your team is three times less creative compared to la 100%. 100%. I, I can't argue with that. I, I can't argue with that. We are significantly less creative than we... Like, even, you know, the whole thing with, oh, if Haaland was on the pitch, if Haaland was on the pitch, there's nothing there for Haaland to even work with. If Haaland is on the pitch, you know what I mean? There's, there's nothing there. Oh, big up Nayballs, man. Nayballs, just welcome to the channel membership, man. You've just joined a fantastic army of people, a great prestigious group of people, Nayballs. That has cheered us up. We, we, It's great to have you. You're a good, loyal follower of this channel, so it's only right that you become a member. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Massively appreciate you, Nayballs. We appreciate your input all the time. Anybody else wants to be a channel member, there's a link in the chat now. Big up Nayballs um, for becoming a channel member. Um, Silva, Silva's tired. He's offering nothing. Foden looks tired. He's not offering a huge amount. De Bruyne is way off it. Rodri's not involved in the game. Jack Grealish, he's doing his thing, but he's not got a lot to work with. Alvarez, non-existent. Uh, Walker, liability. Akanji, slow. Um, Nathan Ake, you know, he's playing as a left winger at times. Jack Grealish playing as a left. I don't know what I'm watching. I, I tell you what, people, with the amount of football, I'm 24, I'm, I'm 25 this year. I watched a fair bit of football in these 25 years I've been alive, and normally I can kind of make out what's going on. I can't make out what's going on. Because during the week, we complained about the fact that we were up against Real Madrid, who did low block, congested defending. We couldn't break it down. Okay, fair play, Madrid defended really well. Chelsea are playing football. Chelsea are here to play football. You know what I'm saying? We should be able to use the space that they're leaving behind to cause problems, but we're not. Because I, do, I don't know what the game plan is. You, know, you Look at that back four, right? That back four on paper. If I was to ask anybody here before kickoff, who would be sat next to Rodri? Every single guy, every single person, a guy, every single person, everybody that I know that watches football, that watches us play, would look at that back four and go, oh, Stones will stick next to Rodri. Why have we had a whole 45 minutes of a kanji sat there? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. We're offering nothing. Nothing going forward. Nothing. Nothing. Chelsea have had better chances in theory. In theory, that you could argue they've had better chances. We're, we are lucky to not... Like, if Palmer had gone down, they had the penalty. Obviously, if Foden goes down, we might have a penalty. But if Palmer did go down, they have a penalty. They're 1-0 up. If Jackson could finish his dinner, they're 1-0 up. They're getting in behind us. Ruben Diaz doesn't help this. This is just sloppy performance. This is tired, sloppy performance. Doku should be on the pitch. Rico should be on the pitch. De Bruyne shouldn't be on the pitch. Let's call a spade a spade. I love Kevin De Bruyne as much as the next man, but he's not playing well. He's tired. He's tired. He was tired against Real Madrid. He's tired against Chelsea. It's poor. It's not helping us. We're out. We're devoid of ideas. Doku and Rico I want on the pitch. Exactly Manchester is blue. Doku and Rico. Both full of energy. Both full of tenacity. They'd at least offer us some energy. Because right now we're being outdone energy-wise. I get it we're tired from Real Madrid, but that's not an excuse at, at the end of the day. You still have to go and challenge. You still have to go and play the game. We're still a better team. This is poor. This is really, really poor. I'm going to go grab a jumper, Joe. You hold the fort for two minutes. <laughs>
I don't know why he needs a jumper. He, the the room is getting very hot. Getting hot under the collar because uh, it's not good. It's not good. I don't know. <laughs> we, we've played 120 against Madrid. 45 here. We've looked good in none of that. Can we... Like... Have we really missed too many sitters over those two games? Like we're looking at over two and a half hours of football. We had Haaland hitting the bar. I don't think that's an easy chance. The Bruyne Blaze went over the bar, but actually on the replay I saw that it was offside. So it wouldn't have counted anyway, which kind of makes it actually sit a little bit better with me against Madrid. Uh, Foden kicked air at one point. I think it was in extra time. Today, have we missed anything clear cut? No. Bernardo Silva had a header that was cleared off the line, but that was offside, not really clear cut. Foden tried to go around the keeper. Could have gone down and won a penalty, probably should have gone down if we're looking at it. What I won't really say it's like a a really good chance. Alvarez, they're showing a replay actually, Alvarez took a shot that came off of De Bruyne because he was in the way. That may have done something. I don't really know, to be honest. Like it's not like I can't sit here and go, we've created loads, we just need to take our chances. It falls on us not taking our chances again. I can't sit here and say that. We've not done much. Like, it's just, just a simple matter of fact is we look slow. Rodri's walking about, De Bruyne is walking about, Bernardo Silva's jogging about, but he looks like he's just running on fumes because he's such a high-intensity player that when he's played extra time and he, he plays the way that he does, naturally he's going to fatigue more than the rest. Um... And again, the pitch is big, the game is open. Step forward, Jeremy Doku, who thrives in open space in an expansive game. Um, we can potentially isolate a fullback or whatever. Chelsea aren't playing with a left winger. They've got Conor Gallagher out there, whose you know, sole job is to mark Rodri. That's his role. They're playing narrow and forcing us wide. That's the game plan. So force us wide to Jeremy Doku, not Bernardo Silva. I, I just... Yeah, exactly, Manchester is blue. I saw Roger one time holding his head down and walking when we were under pressure because he's absolutely out on his ass. I saw it as well on the stream, didn't I? Roger walking about with his head kind of up in the air, down on the floor, because he's absolutely knackered. I, you, we're in the middle of the game. We have the ball. I think we just turned it over, and Roger's just walking about basically in la-la land because he's absolutely exhausted. What are you talking about? Roger. Manchester's Blues said Rodri one time holding his head down, walking when we were under pressure. I said it on the stream, Rodri's just walking about. With, you know, he's looking up in the air, he's looking down at the floor. He's not in it because he's absolutely exhausted, both physically and mentally exhausted. Look at Saeed ringing me. Oh. Well, Go I'm if you must. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> he did this when we were on the starting screen, by the way. It Saeed rang him as we were about to go live and he answered then. Um, you must, I assume, is being said by Saeed. He's in there as well, I think. I don't know. Um, probably just be Saeed on his own now, but my God. Roger is tired and who do we play in place of him? That's why he bought Kovacic for punny. I think if Kovacic can't be trusted to play there, then he doesn't have a future at all beyond this season. If Kovacic cannot play as a holding midfield player and, and take a load off of Rodri um, and, and make it so that he doesn't have to play 60 games a season every season, if he can't do that, if there's no trust in him to do that, he does not have a future beyond this summer because he can't play in an advanced position because he doesn't, you know, he can't pick a pass um, or he can't consistently pick a pass. He's not a goal. He's the complete opposite of a goal threat. People will probably leave him unmarked. He's, you know, he's willing to shoot and take long shots, which is something that I want to see. Us, you know, try some shooting from long range. But he's not a goal threat. He's not. And he's not like a massive creator either. So if he can't play, in, if he's not trusted enough to play back up to Rodri, then it's just no future at all. So, <laughs> like, if he's tired, then we've got a, a replacement there. But, you know, Pep's not willing to use him. Same thing in the midfield. Kevin De Bruyne looks tired. Phil Foden looks tired. We have Jeremy Docker. You bought Nunes for 60 million. You know, I like Mateus Nunes. I like some of the things he does. Telling me he couldn't have got a chance today. Like, I, I, I just don't understand. 
Rodri looked tired up and up against two energetic midfielders. We need cover uh, next year. Yeah, exactly. If Kovacic can't do it, we need cover because he's playing against roadrunners. He's got Enzo and Caicedo kicking lumps out of people. Um, Conor Gallagher, like I just said, basically standing on him. The, you know, he's got energetic players around him and he can't keep up because he is absolutely out on his ass. Uh, get Kimmich at all costs. It's not a bad signing if we can get him. Kovacic for KDB, Doku for Silva, Bob for Foden, but give Foden a little bit more time than the others. I won't be against it, personally. I, I don't think it's a bad idea, but I just fear that you take... <laughs> you take... You know, you bring on Kovacic for De Bruyne and... You know, the entire creative load goes on Phil Foden. If you're going to take him off, then... I don't really know where it comes from. Play Foden in midfield. He has been playing in midfield. I actually have that team wrong. Um, I am going to change it now because he has actually been lining up in midfield, which is good. I like to see Foden in midfield. Um, He's looked okay, but he looks tired is what I'd say. He hasn't blown anyone out of the water. He hasn't done anything spectacular. But he's tired. Like the rest of them, he's tired. I'm not expecting the world. Um from Phil Foden I really wasn't I, I wasn't I, I expected him to start um, but I wasn't expecting him to tear up trees I wasn't I, I don't think I think it was unfair to expect anybody who played against Madrid to have an absolute worldie Saeed saying the same thing as us man City just looked tired but it's not an excuse you know what I mean there's a domestic double to be won here this is, it's not an excuse uh, Ruben Diaz going he's through really... a full warm up in his kit at half time. Looks like he's coming on. Listen, if he comes on for a kanji and Stones pushes into midfield, I'd be okay with it. I really would. Or if he comes on for Walker and a kanji goes to right back, like again, I'd be good with it. He needs to change a kanji playing next to Rodri in the second half. You can't continue to let that happen. No. No. Um. Yeah, big up everybody who's locked in. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed if you're new. Uh, and there's a link in the chat if anybody wants to become a channel member as well. Big up Bree. I expect more from Foden as he's 23-24. KDB should have been rested. KDB shouldn't be on the pitch. I'm just I'm just being real. He shouldn't be on the pitch. Foden's in midfield. You know, this is an opportunity that he wants, that we all want. He's not, as you said, he's not tearing trees up. He's not doing a great... We're not playing well. <laughs> We're not playing well. We're not playing good enough to, to win this game. As of right now, we don't deserve to win this game. I'll always say it when I believe it. As of right now, we don't deserve to win this game. If this was Liverpool or Arsenal, we're probably losing right now by maybe more than one. I do know he's probably going to be Stones coming off Havoc. I know it's probably going to be Stones. And I what will happen? Stones will come off. We'll all go... Yeah, Stones off for Diaz, Sam Lee. Oh, my fucking Christ. Oh, my God. Uh, what, what's going to happen now is after the game, we'll find out that John Stones was struggling at half-time and had some sort of injury, and he'll probably be out for Brighton, and then fuck knows from there. I, I've seen this script so many times before. Why, why yeah. as John Stones didn't start against Madrid, only came on in extra time, why has he been taken off at half-time? He's not tired, he's not playing bad. In fact, I thought he was probably one of our better players. He was playing quite well. And now he's off at half time. He's done something. You would have thought it would be take a Kanji off, put Stones into midfield, and then put Diaz on. He's, I'm telling you now, he's done something because he just doesn't come off for no reason. The team is coming back out now. <sighs> I'm, just, I'm just hoping for some attacking changes as well. Look, the defensive side of things, it, it's not great at the minute. But also, how are we going to score goals? Because right now, we don't look like scoring goals. It has to improve. It has to... they got to find energy from somewhere, man. They got Because this season will just peter out. If we take performances like this into Brighton, into Fulham away, Tottenham away, we ain't winning this league. We ain't, we ain't, he was vomiting. Is he ill? But if he's ill, then that makes me feel a little bit better. Because <laughs> if he's injured, our season's in jeopardy. We have six must-win Premier League games, and one of our most important players is injured. That's what... If he gets injured again, is that, like, what, his third, like, pretty major injury? Yeah, this yeah, season? Third... Like, you can't rely yeah, on yeah. that going into next season. We're off, by the way. I kicked off. Yeah, I'm off as well. 
Just for my bet, are Bayern winning? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, yeah, Bayern winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the stage we're at. He's uh... a. <laughs> the game's that dead right. that he's we're focusing the on. Way, focusing on the Germans. Oh, Jermaine Genus's commentary. Thank God I'd have to listen to it. Come on, City. Just find the energy from somewhere, man. Come on, boys. We've got this in us. We've got this in us. Oh. Find the energy, man. Get up, Gallagher. Here's De Bruyne. Oh, he's kicked it out. Okay. Kicked it out because Gallagher's me, on man. the floor. Mate, these have to be, right, honestly, in terms of... <laughs> Your walker's just gone through kicked him. In the... But in terms of captains these might actually be two of the worst captains i've ever seen connor gallagher and kyle walker are captains yeah now connor gallagher isn't chelsea's captain or vice captain it's still pretty bad but you can almost kind of go well reese james captain chilwell's vice captain you know the armband just fell to connor gallagher kyle walker is the actual club captain for us what the fuck are you doing nice one ortega and Jesus. Madueke so, over the so bar. Said, yeah. So you said to me and he was right. We're just lucky Chelsea can't finish their dinner. <laughs> we are just lucky Chelsea can't finish their dinner. What was that, man? Justin, when you used to be on City Extra, I really like when you was playing FIFA and you made me laugh as well. Maybe me and Joe play some FIFA during the summer. <laughs> we do some, some fucking career mode or something. I'd be mad. Yeah, See, we used to run a we used to run a pro yeah. club. It's not on stream or anything, but that's kind of dead in the water. The game's just not very good, if we're being honest. The new FIFA, EAFC, whatever it's called this year, just isn't good. And a lot of people are saying that uh, it's just not very good. Big up, Brendan says, "Come on, City, big love, Hugh from Australia. Need to dig deep. We do need to dig deep, man. We need to find energy from somewhere because this is low en energy stuff. What the fuck are City on GL block? I know, man. Wow." <laughs> It's not good. This is not good, guys. This is not good. Chelsea just look like they're playing with more energy, don't they? They just look like they're more up for it. The ball's bobbling them out. We can't get a touch. That's the first sprint I think I've seen De Bruyne do this game. This is We're in the period now, aren't we, where... So Brian's going to start running about, make himself useful, and in the next 20 minutes, he's going to be completely out of gas. Take him off, man. They're well rested. They've had a week off, haven't they, Chelsea? They played Monday no, night football a... against Everton, and that was the last time they played. We're currently Saturday evening, and uh, they're playing again. Oh, <laughs> this is so bad! I've made peace with so it again. Shit. I've made peace with it again. Like against Real Madrid, I've made peace with this game already. We will not win playing like this. We've had half time. I hoped for a pep bollocking. Clearly oh, hasn't in. changed Jack anything. In. Jackson's, Jackson's in. in. Good, Good save, end. Ortega. What are we doing? Oh, my God. Wake up! And again, oh, he's just and another save again. He's just what we're are we actually doing right now? We are so lucky Action Jackson can't finish his dinner because that is two fucking sitters. And De Bruyne's just giving the ball away what again. What am I watching? Oh, my they, God. They should be at least 1-0 up, if not 2-0. This is ass. <laughs> this is ass, people. So, Action Man Jackson's just missed two sitters. And what do we do? Give the ball away on the halfway line. Big up LB1998, good to see you, man. We've been so ass. This is ass. Total and utter ass. No control, no intensity, no energy. Chelsea playing all the fucking football right now. Make some subs. I don't care if they're young. I don't care if they're inexperienced. Make some goddamn subs. Bring on some fresh legs. These players are knackered. These players are bollocksed. This is bad. He should have scored. What's Kyle Walker doing? He just lets Jackson get in for the header. What are you doing, mate? Take him off. Oh, my God. How are we making Chelsea look like a good team? Because we're not a very good How? team at the moment. 
That's why. Not, don't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. Corner. Oh, corner. I. If that was corner, <sighs> he scored, David. I'm just completely like, I don't even think I want to celebrate if we score because we're just so bad. Like, I've got no energy left. I'm, 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 I'm over it. Like, I'm done. I'm done with this, this, this particular game. Like, I, I, it's hard to be positive enough for this team when they're playing like this. Another absolutely fucking wank corner. Oh. This game, uh, MRFRO or um, Mr. Fro, this does need Doku or Bob. This does need Doku or Bob. Someone to inject a bit of life. We are, in, we are stale right now. We are stale. We are gone off bread. Moldy bread. What do they work on in training? Has anyone got an answer for me? Rondos. We don't, it, clearly it's just Rondos because we love passing in fucking circles back where, backwards and sideways. But... The final ball has been terrible. Our corners and just overall set pieces have been terrible. So we must, what? We don't practice chance creation. We don't practice any set pieces, clearly. Otherwise, we'd be, you know, at least half decent at them. Um, but we love a run, though. We love a run, though. Something that, if you've watched anything behind the scenes, Inside City, the documentaries, whatever, Ireland hates Rondos. So there you go, I had another level of frustration. He's sat there in training with them lot just doing fucking rondos going, what am I doing here? Oh, we've given it away again. Oh, we've we given go. it away again. If, if Chelsea were any fucking use, they'd, they'd, they'd have left us behind by now. Oh my God. Left us behind. What, well, like... I don't mind how many rondos if you do, right? Any good. Chelsea doing rondos in training? Or are they actually training? Tell you, mate, if they were any use, they'd have left us in the mud by now. Mudded. Embarrassment. Finish. Follow. Oh, no, save. Finally, someone pulls the trigger. Finally, someone actually has a shot. And we're not trying to walk it into the net. On a fucking lead. Cross. Oh, corner. I don't <sighs> want a corner. I don't want the corner. I, I, I'll, I'll actually give them the goal kick. Nobody wants to hear that. Just, I know, yeah. The, that was the, the best for the play of the whole game. It was. Best, no, best thing from us for the whole game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's falling to Phil Foden, but why is it falling to Phil Foden? Because Pep's actually played him in the middle. Could you imagine if that was against Madrid? That forced to Bernardo Silva and he's trying to take a touch. No. Kev. Oh, no, get Kevin De Bruyne <sighs> He's off. actually get fucking off. honking. Get he's off. actually honking. He's a liability right now, Kevin De Bruyne. Get him off. Oh, He's a Walker. liability. Walker's one on one doing fucking Flappy Bird flapping his arms around. Our fuck our captain and vice captain are actually liabilities in this game so far. Kev has to come off. He has to. Don't foul. Oh, oh it's foul. Oh, oh, my God. This might be one of the most frustrating fucking times I've, I've had in a long time. It sounds bad, but... The, it, I could take losing games, but... And I could take not winning games. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. I made peace with it, but... Not when we're playing like this. I can't take not winning a game of football because we just fucking completely forget how to play. Like, dude... If you would have told me, right, there was one team in this game, right, before kickoff, two teams I've never heard of in my life. I'm not a Premier League watcher. I don't know who either of these teams are. If you would have told me one of them sat in ninth in the league table and one of them sat in first, I would have thought Chelsea was sat in first. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's facts. Palmer, don't let that in. Oh, Jesus. They want a corner. A corner, if you ask me. They want a corner. Want a corner. It was a corner. We are making these look really good. 
It's a blatant corner. There's a hole in the wall. Who are we? Aston Villa. It's handball. Big up Dara Revel, man. Channel member. That's it, Grealish's arm. Big that might be a handball. Him. Was he in the box? Yeah, the checking no. a handball. No penalty. No pen. Okay. Oh, we are blessed. No, we we are so blessed with that. We've caught life. No, we haven't caught life. We've caught luck. <laughs> this is not catching life. If that was the other way around, I'd be going sick for a pen. Because I think his arm moves down towards it. We are so lucky. There he is now. We've literally got everything falling like in our favour. Like we're getting things gifted to us. We're getting let off the hook. Take man. Bigger ball of our channel members here. I was gonna do a fucking hate along for Arsenal, but how can I do a hate along yeah. thing like this? No, I was gonna do it well, obviously not on stream, but I was gonna do watch the game. Hate along. What's more depressing than us playing like this? Watching Arsenal go and batter whoever they're playing next. As Akanji's just fired one into Rose Ed after the whistle. Deary me, this is a hard watch. I don't know how that's not a handball, man. I think he's a lucky, lucky boy, although we did get an absolutely bollocks one against United in the final last season. So I'll take it. We are lucky that will be a pen against United or Wood. Uh, we look. We're coming up to the hour mark now. Just make some subs, man. Just make some substitutions, and what will be will be. Because this, this is not good, guys. This is this is fucking bad, guys. Also, contrast the, the reactions from Alvarez's before. Alvarez done a booking. I don't know why I got booked for. But contrast the reactions. If Haaland has done exactly what Alvarez has done in this game, which is sweet fuck all, everyone is going mad saying he's useless. Facts. Guys, so, this team is burned out right now. They're done. They are. What's the excuse now that Alvarez is putting in a pretty poor performance? I tell you what the excuse is. It's the exact same thing for Haaland. He's not being found. There's no service. De Bruyne's final ball is completely off it and has been completely off it for... A number of games now. It's not new. Don't take a genius to figure this out. Like, he's just off it, whether it's tiredness, I don't know, but his final ball is terrible. He oh, keep, every oh. time he tries, every time Kevin De Bruyne tries a pass into the final third, Chelsea end up with the ball. Please just take him off. Please just take him off. Take Kevin De Bruyne off the football pitch. I love him, but he's he's not it today. He's tired. He's burnt out. The players are burnt out. End the game. End the stream, Dave. It's just not inspiring at anything at all. Like I don't. Now go on, Jack. Shoot, Jack. Shoot. Not a corner. Hey, at least he's trying something. At least he's <laughs> yeah. trying something. But we've ended up with a corner. It's just like, <laughs> what do you what do you do in this situation? Like I don't. Pep doesn't really tend to have a lot of trust when it comes to the kids. We're crossing Long to the... Corner. That was a corner back post to Bernardo Silva. Are we seriously all right? Nice, Jack. Go on, Alvarez. Shoot. 
He's taking. He's trying to do fake shots, taking an extra touch. Jackson's away. He won't score. He won't score. He surely won't. Go on, score. Walker. He won't. Go on, Walker. He's looking for a pen. No. Oh. He's looking for Goal a pen. Kick. He's looking for a pen. Never a pen. That's good defending from Walker. That. That's what. See, that's what he's good for. But when a team is not doing that consistently, he's useless. <laughs> I thought Jackson was away for a second then as well. I thought he was quicker than him. I thought he had the beating of him. Nah, Walker did really well there. But that is literally all he is good for. If a team is not doing that, playing the ball in behind like that over the top, then Kyle Walker is limited as a defender and he's not he's a non factor when we have the ball pretty much. Cross it. Oh, lucky. Uh, Jack, Jack's, our, Jack's our best outlet right now. Guys, if we win this game, I'll put my wife's dress on and send you the screenshot. Don't do that, please. <laughs> please I don't. don't I do don't. I don't, I don't need that. No. I don't want that, MJG. You, need... you can. Whatever you want to do in your house is totally up to you. <laughs> Just make my day worse. Keep, keep it to yourself, brother. <laughs> I get it might be embarrassing, but we 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 have we done it to see that. Although it would be funny after the stream if we do win, and all I get is like a "Oh my god, there's a man in a dress in my DMs." Yeah, work away, mate. Work away, but you know what I mean. But whatever floats your boat. All right, are we gonna? Is this gonna be a sustained period of possession? Or is somebody going to try and oof it towards the 18 yard box? Give it away. Why, why go back? Why go back when there's a runner? Pass backs, pass backs, pass backs, pass backs. It's what happens when you train rondos and only rondos. Well, we've ended up back in our own half thanks to the rondo. Rondo drills all the time. Rondo, Rondo, Rondo. Might as well form a big... Oh, my God. Oh, my, <laughs> oh my God. We might as well, right? As I was about to say before Rodri puts it out of touch. Might as well. Form a big, massive... Grealish is down. Big, massive fuck-off circle around the centre circle of Wembley and just pass it around like we're doing Rondo drills. Because that's what we train. Oh. What's Grealish done here? I say, though, with a high foot. He won the ball, though. He just got a kick. But Doku looks Make sure like he's getting the ready to people. turn on. Good, good, good. Make sure you've hit the like button, people. Subscribe if you're new around here. We're closing in on 8K, so hit that big subscribe button. And there's a link in the chat. Anybody wants to be like Havoc, Puneet, MJG, Nayballs, Rebel, become a channel member, man. Become a channel member, part of the army. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, are you telling me we are this bad because we lost the Madrid game? Do you think if we have won, things would not or would have changed today? No. Nope. I think it's no. No, because no, this is no. down to tiredness. So regardless of whether we would have won or not, we still would have been tired. I don't think much changes here. If anything, I think Same Pep might even go weaker here and make more changes if we win, because it suddenly becomes less important. Hmm. So, potentially. I don't think it makes too much difference, though. I really don't. Look at that, Jackson. Three shots, three on target. How many shots Alvarez had? One. Doku coming on, man. Doku's coming on. For who? Jack <gasps> Grealish. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's done it again. Hey, Grealish is fresh. He's one of the only players we've got with energy. And he's taking him off. Should have been Bernardo. 
Or my even head, Kev. My head Brown wobbles every time Pep makes a sub at the moment. Or makes a, 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 like fact, a tactical it, decision. It should probably have been Kev. Put Bernardo into midfield and Docker out to right wing. It's a baffling decision again, really. Uh, maybe it'll work. It kind of... Grealish going sick at the fourth official. I mean, it kind of worked against Madrid because Doku played well, but Grealish was our best player before that. He shouldn't have come off. And he shouldn't have come off again today. Again, he looks like a genius if it works, but... Well, I think he's got it wrong. I wouldn't have taken... Uh, I wouldn't have taken... I want to take in Grealish off. I think it's the wrong decision again. Unless he has a knock, it was the wrong decision. Well, I can tell you now, he didn't have a knock against Madrid, so that was just the wrong decision. Hopefully Doku can do something here, man, because nobody else is. As of right now, we're on track to lose this game. Being generous there. Now one up the pitch. I th I th I think saying we're heading to lose this game is kind. We are going to lose this game. We're more fit to say at the moment. This goes. This, if this goes to extra time, we're cooked. We are cooked. There's no way we have another extra time in us. And that fucks us for Brighton as well. If you're going to lose, lose in the 90. Go for it. Push men up the pitch. Try and win the game. If you lose the game, we can't afford extra time. Here's Doku now, dead ball, dead ball. I'm losing the <sighs> liver. It's a good job, this lot of shit. Exactly, Spinks. Here's Palmer, here's Palmer. He's released All away from Akanji, he's released Kaiseido, who has absolutely fucked it. We're lucky. We are so lucky, this lot of crap. Oh so my God. lucky. a great ball to Caicedo. He's onside as well. Kyle Walker playing everybody onside again. Liability. And Caicedo just gets his cross horribly, horribly wrong. Why have we always got one defender who's five yards further back than the entire defensive line? Again, what do we train? What do we practice? It's clearly not defending. Here come Chelsea again because we've given the ball away. By the way, okay. Palmer's in the box being basically wrestled. Jesus, amped. Well done, Doku. Well done. Come on, Kev. Give us something, lad. It's just... The ball's just too far behind forward and he has to go back for it. Slows us down. Chelsea are getting back now. Doku. 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 Well done. Oh, well done. Lucky. At least he's fucking doing something. I know. You know what I mean? I'm very tempted to say you should start when we go to Brighton. He's the only player over the last two games who's looked like he's been able to do something. He got Grealish there, but he seems to be taken off after 70 minutes every time. Doku, well on Doku, lad. Alvarez, teared up. De Bruyne, De Bruyne. Oh, no. He's actually no, no, so no. fucking bad. He's actually so bad. Oh, uh, I didn't think I could go, like, I didn't think I could, like, make my old agenda, like, a reality and a real thing, but he's absolutely shit. <laughs> he's so bad. Come on, Blues, please lift it, man. I can't, I can't go as far to say he's finished. I can't bring myself to say that because it would hurt. 
But he's fucking playing like it. He's playing like his legs have gone, and it's not just a case of tiredness. It's just his legs have gone. Like, there's only so much his reputation can hold him up. Like, he has to do something. Mm. You know, you can't keep making the excuse of he's old, he's injured, you know, he's he's knackered. At some point, the excuse is stopped. It looks like Doku's breathed some life into the team because we've had a little bit of pressure since he's come on. There he is. Yeah, he has. Doku has brought a bit of life into the team. He has. Like, it's been good. I don't understand he's how... Been... <laughs> he's given Chelsea something to worry about that they didn't have before anyway. They had nothing he's... to worry about before. He's been on the pitch for about two, three minutes and within those two or three minutes, he's arguably been our best player and Gusto's just pulled up with a muscle injury who's his man that he's running at. That's how bad we've been. We've had a sub that's been on for three minutes and caused more than anybody else has in 70. How is that possible? I don't know. Ooh, dear me. Come on, man, lift it. Just lift it. Just give it to Doku and tell him to just run. Give it to Doku, man. Hit the like button, people, man. Subscribe if you're new around here. We're two subscribers off 7.83k, so subscribe if you're new around here. And as always, there's a link in the chat if anybody wants to help support us and become a channel member if you like our content. Um... I'm really dreading the idea of extra time here. I'm really, really dreading the idea of extra time, people. I won't lie. Be a treble winner scarf away, man. Embarrassing. <coughs> Come on, Chelsea are literally... Chelsea are a man down here. Gusto's coming off the pitch for a bit. Hey, Chelsea are a man down. Make it count. I mean, what, what, what the actual fuck was that corner? Catching practice to the goalkeeper, Alvarez. Seriously. Does Pep not know that our corners are shit? Does he not look at it and go, these are really bad? Does it's he not look at Alvarez? And does he not look at Alvarez taking set pieces and go, maybe he's just not very good at them? He can score a free kick, maybe. He can't take a corner. Okay, Kev. Oh, oh Kanji, man. Oh. oh, fuck you now. Do you know what? I think a goal for Chelsea would be like a sweet release. Like this, in the moment, this is a slow, painful death. It's a bad game. They are just so fucking bad. We are being let off the hook time and time and time and time again because they just cannot play football properly. They are so discombobulated, apart from a couple of players, that we're getting let off the hook and we're just sitting here and going and daring them essentially to score. As Alvarez giving the ball away. Foul. Blessed again. We're getting let off and we're just continuing to dare Chelsea to do something. Has Gusto come back on yet, no? Yeah, he has. He's there. Now, here we go. Doku, take him on. That's a foul. That's a foul. That's a foul! He just upended him! Come on, man. Give us something here. Oh, dear. Both our next games are away from home. I, I, man, I, I don't feel good about this Brighton game on Thursday. 
Alvarez on his own, there goes Doku. At least he's trying. At least he's trying. What the fuck was that, Alvarez, man? Shit, this is so bad. I'm saying again, I said against Madrid, I am home, but I want to go home. I don't want to do this. Oh, just awful first touch from Monado Silva. That's a foul by Rodri. Advantage played, though. Gust out. That'll be a corner of Chelsea, would it? Yeah, corner of Chelsea. Now watch, you, you just know they'll get their goal from a corner after a shit hour they've been. Oh, Ortega's just gone down. <sighs> okay. I don't know how you're not winning either, David. We're here for the taking. We're here for the taking. I, I, I could tell you why, because Chelsea are just not a very good football inside. The whole world knows that. They're in ninth. They're not very good at football. It's just the reason why the game's not out of sight is because we just didn't turn up. We, we can't be asked or something. I don't know. If you were any good, you would be winning. The game would be over. Like if, if if you had anyone outside of Palmer who could reliably stick the ball in the net, you'd probably be two, three, four up. Easily. Easily. <laughs> it's only because you're so just bad in front of goal. You got a, a striker up there who did three shots, three on target, and completely fluffed them all. Uh, I say three shots, three on target. He's had a couple that they must not count as shots because they were that bad. They look like crosses. They went around the goalkeeper in the first half. He didn't shoot. Like It's just... Some of the build-up play from Chelsea has been pretty good. So, like, I, I get the whole finishing, not footballing. Like, I get that. But finishing is a part of footballing. Like putting the ball in the back of the net. Because an overall football side... You've been there for the... Realistically, they've been there for the taking because they haven't parked the bus. I don't know what the argument is now after we've been saying for a few games now that we're not creating enough. And t people are going, oh, my team's parked the bus and then against Madrid, we did create enough. What's the excuse now? Chelsea didn't park the bus, we didn't create enough. Uh, what? <laughs> it's just not very good. Um, oh. This is dreadful. This is really, really dreadful. Mudrick coming on. At Disassi as well. Yeah. Mudrick and Disassi. So Chelsea making two subs. We've still made. I mean, we've made two, but one was at half time. Just the one change. Ukraine bolt. <laughs> yeah, I look forward I like to that, that one when our high line is playing five yards inside the Chelsea half. A recipe Ukraine for disaster. Bolt. That's a good one, Lance. That's a good one. Just I call him off. Ukraine Belt. I, I, I call him Ukraine Belt. He's a banging nickname. Oh, man. He'll score, though. He'll score. The amount, of, the amount of room over the top and in behind our defence, he'll score. Or he'll get a chance to score, at least, anyway. Whether he puts it in the back of the net, I can't tell you. I just really don't want the extra time. Well, we're heading there. We just void it if it goes to extra time. I don't want to sit and watch it. We could just switch over and do an Arsenal head along. I'd rather just go to bed. Call it a night.
change the scoreboard. Right, so our team is shit. Watch Arsenal instead. Kanji. Foul. It's a foul. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. I'll go home. This is one of the worst performances of the season. I don't give it back to Felden. Nothing's going to happen from here. Look how high our fucking centre left, left side centre back is. He's on the edge of the box. Right, Taku. Oh, we're going back again. <sighs> Listen, man, if I wasn't here doing this, and if I didn't have to be here, it's not contractually. I don't actually have to be here, but for the good of the people, if I didn't have to be here, I would have turned it off. I would have stopped watching. The amount of football we play on the edge of the box is crazy and do nothing with it. Shoot, Rodri. Why'd you wait? What is going on? Oh. <sighs> can we end the stream and just cut our losses and get on with the rest of the days I want to this is pain pain Spain without the S I could be doing so I could be doing other things I could be enjoying my time instead I'm sat here watching this how's he even done that how's he I got that know. much height on it I think again, that's harder to do than the target. It falls on the... When was the last time we had our number nine have a chance to his feet in the box? There's no rhythm. He's just swinging at it, because when was the last time he had to do that? Fucking hell, man. Phil Foden with a yellow card as well for fucking I don't even know what reason. <sighs> I ain't, I ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm done. My, my feet are up again. I'm sat back. Nayballs, it's so bad, man. It's the worst I've seen us in a long time. It's just so out of answers, devoid of energy. My no one hope is Doc, who does something. But they've just subbed on Disassi, who's a centre-back, to go mark him now. Kev, this has to be it. Bernardo! Bernardo! Yes! Oh, yes! I'm not celebrating. I don't have it in me. Yes! <laughs> I, I don't have it in me. I can't. Boys, I can't. I'm dead inside. Yes! <laughs> I am dead inside. Yes! 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 Oh, thank <laughs> you, Lord. Oh. oh, I don't know. What are you celebrating more? Are you celebrating the fact that we've scored or the fact that it hopefully means we don't have to do extra time? Both. <laughs> oh. I don't want it. Jeremy Doku! Jeremy oh. Doku! Release me! My fucking guy! <sighs> yes! Yes! Oh my god. I have oh. nothing left. I can't I can't celebrate. I got nothing left. This game has depressed me so much. I'm dead inside. It's um it's a goal that sums up the day. Scrappy. Average. <laughs> <laughs> Deflected. <laughs> Fucking Deflected. Pile of shit. <laughs> Thank 
Lord, for no extra time, and that we are going to beat this lot. Five minutes. Just hold on. Five minutes. Just hold oh, on. Oscar just Bob's on coming on. Time. Oscar Bob's coming on. I, I don't care. Just, just five. Cinco minutos, por favor, Pep. Cinco <laughs> minutos, Pep. He's, he I, is I, so desperate and he is so over this game. He started speaking fucking Spanish. Cinco en el croco, Pepo, por favor. <laughs> you can't just add O on to the end of words. It's not Spanish. <laughs> Listen, I'm the host. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the most disgusting watch of the season. Wait. Park that goddamn bus. Park it like a Dublin bus, mate. Put it all in front. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> Fucking Jesus wept. Mate. The appalling game of football. I am so glad we don't play until Thursday. Got break. I don't even know who Bob's going to come on for. The Briner? Well, he's just been booked. <laughs> just hold on, City. Hold on. Do not let this lot back into this game. Hold the fuck on. Just hold. Just play ball. Just play ball. Just f pass it around, man. Kill the clock. There's going to be like 10 minutes injury time, though, isn't there? Because of the Ortega one, the Gusto one and all that. Yay! But we're all looking forward to that, aren't we? More time in this game? Sub, who's coming off? Surely he takes off a forward player. I don't know why you're going sick, Pep. You've caused this. Great performance. Let's continue and finish. Absolutely Man, shit. Sterling, Sterling coming on. Chill well. Who's Oscar Bob on for? Oscar Bob, Bob, Bob. Oe, 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 oe. Alvarez, who's done absolutely fuck all. Apart from maybe hit a child in the second tier. Lance has come in with facts. I need you Bellingham-style diving masterclass now. We do. We need diving everywhere. Hamstrings, calves. Everything needs to be tight. Come on, boys. Two minutes and then injury time. And then we're into the final and we can forget this game ever happened. Hey, let me change the score on the top as well because I I'm, I still forget to do that sometimes. It, it just... Let me leave. Release me. Havoc, I'm saying at least eight minutes injury time. At least minutes. Eight minutes. Ballon d'Or, di favourite diver. Bo Dude, don't get me started on Drew Bellingham, Pony. Don't get me started on Drew Bellingham. Release me. That is over -hype. Oh, my God. We got Oscar Bob playing as a false nine. Keep that kick. Ortega, you sit on that ball. You sit on that ball. Like a chicken over an egg. This has been a painful afternoon, people, but I deserve this. We deserve this. I am not getting my time back, unfortunately. Neither are you either. Nobody here is getting their time back after this. Well, I'm going to the pub. I don't know about you. I'm going gonna... I'm gonna to order some food because I'm starving and then just, I don't know, try and find happiness somewhere, if one can find happiness. Oh, here it is. Oh, uh, look at Sterling. Look at Sterling. Well oh, done, thank Ruben. God for Ruben Diaz. Sterling was open. Was no one was near him. Yeah, but he wouldn't score that, would he? Oh, well, he scored against us this season already. Order some food for your members. Can't, I'm skin. Cannot afford. Barely afford it for myself. Get I'll shoot out. you well. 
You can give a file in Kevin it. De Bruyne, Kevin De Bruyne has has, show, has had an all time disaster class today. He needs to be careful as well, putting a foot in. He's on a booking. <laughs> Yo! I said eight minutes, Havoc. It's eight minutes. Binks, it'll be for beers. the Ortega injury and the Gusto injury. Yeah. Order me some beers. I want to get slammed drunk. Listen, Oi, whatever you way not... you want to spend your evening in it, I don't blame you for spending it whatever way you want after this. <laughs> if you want to drink yourself to oblivion because of this, don't blame you. All of your super chats, all of your super chats go towards my beer fund. For <laughs> all of your super chats just goes towards my beer fund. That, that's me being open and honest. <laughs> Guinness on the chat. Hughes Guinness fund. Go on, Oscar Bob. Oscar Bob. Seven Bob, minutes to Bob. go, boys. Don't let him pass rings around us. Go on. That's it, Rodri. Done, Rodri. Oi. Fine, we still got the ball. Like, nothing fucking stupid now. We're 1 0 up. That'll do. Okay. That won't do. Oh my yeah, God, he's done it again. <laughs> he's so bad. He's had such a bad day. Such a bad day. I remember when people used to shout at me on the internet for having an agenda against this man. I don't have an agenda against this man. But there was some criticism that was valid. I hope he's not finished, because that would that might make me cry. It would be very upsetting. Shit. Sure. <laughs> oh, that is the most Irish thing you've ever said, Hugh. It's facts, though. Super chats equals Guinness for you. <laughs> that's that's where we're at. Guinness I, I, I need it. I need it. I think I deserve it after today's like today. Join join our Discord server and you'll and I'll send a photo later on of me with a pint of Guinness. I think someone did while we were live, one of the new members today. Let me see if I can find Yeah, Nabal's joined it, yeah. I saw how he Got access to the Discord. If you look out for tonight, it might send you a picture of a Guinness. That's what goes on in our Discord server for our channel members. That and a lot of calling certain players shit. <laughs> it happens. Play on, referee! Hold the ball, Jezza. Take it to the corner. Jeremy. Jeremy. you got to say it like you're from in Stockport. Jeremy. 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 Do you see the way Big Steve pronounces it? It's not Doku, it's Doku. Doku. Jeremy. Jeremy Doku. Jeremy Doku. Love Big Steve, man. Sits here. He's, Sits he's, going, he's going everywhere around the world. Even when City out playing, where was he? Was he in Monte Carlo? Not too long ago. He went from, he went from Crystal Palace away to Madrid away to Monte Carlo. He's living, man. He's living. From Croydon to Monte Carlo. I will go to pub tomorrow. I need medicine. Puddy, my brother, you deserve it. You deserve it, Puddy. MJG, you know what? Maybe the dress, save it for the end of the season. Let, let today, we don't need. We didn't win anything today. Even if we win the game, we still don't win anything. Go Hold back to the dress Wembley, for now, MJG. Save it for a special occasion. Oh, Kaiseido didn't get sent off this game. Uh, come on now. Oh, Four throw minutes. In. Just... Yay. Four minutes. Can we fast forward with the time? Oh, dead. Oh my fucking God. Kevin, Kevin De Bruyne has just got one oh, of the match. God. He has been the worst player on the pitch. <laughs> he has been the worst player on the pitch. Wow. Wow. <laughs> like out That's of what every, gets you. every single player who has taken part today, Kevin De Bruyne has comfortably been the worst player on the pitch. And he has just been given man of the match. They should have just given it to Bernardo for scoring the goal. Because nobody else really deserves it. 
Yeah, because you got to give you give man of the match to the team who wins. Usually, a player to the team who wins. I remember when Madrid knocked us out on penalties. Valverde got man of the match. Like I won't say he blew everyone out there. <laughs> Had the water with that performance, but Madrid won, so you got to give it to a Madrid player. It's a branch passing it back to the Chelsea could... keeper. I reckon you could really just give it to Doku just for his twenty minute cameo. But Doku's been our most dangerous player. Been on. Foden, mate, you're on a booking. Stop fucking trying to snap people. I don't need a sending off because it carries over to domestic competition. Oh, that's a nasty challenge. Hit the like button, people, man. We're on 120 likes. Make sure you hit the like button if you haven't done so already. Subscribe if you're new around here. All of your support is massively appreciated. And big up to all of our channel members and the new ones that came today. And there's a link in the chat if anybody wants to join them. Panit's already on a silver badge, man. That's sick. I know. I think um, Briggs is nearing. I think the next one after two months is six. I don't think it goes to three. I think it goes to six. It might go to three. I don't know. But Briggs is like, because he's like the first member I got with think I think he's close to a gold. Yeah, Briggs was the first ever channel member. He's close to a goal. He's at this no. game again. Yeah, yeah. Briggsy, Briggsy's there. Drinking his fruit juice. <laughs> well, literally, we've got a minute and a half left. If that. Oof. And we're behind, we're behind though as well. So, should be done any second. Walker giving away a free kick right at the byline. Because he just decided to Walker push Modric over. Right. He does, but he didn't have to push uh, him. Big up Nayballs, man. Wife's made me some dinner. I uh, hope you folks have a good evening. Press the like button. People helps the channel. Big up Nayballs for becoming a channel member and um, big up for joining us for the game this afternoon. It was great having you here, man. Enjoy your evening. <coughs> <laughs> I understand, Punit. We couldn't have watched this game alone either. I think we would have given up. <laughs> we needed some entertainment, man. That is an absolutely dreadful free kick. That might be it for Chelsea. That but, uh, be it. Guys, is it full time? I'm going to check my phone because I just want this to be over with. It's not not on my phone, at least, anyway. Game's still on, man. We're still, still going. Probably because Ortega's taking his time with a free kick. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Oscar, Bob, Bob, Bob. Joe, Bob. Joe, Ah, you he Joe, remixed Joe, it. Okay, now. Ah. Poznan! The Poznan's come out. It's the least deserved Poznan I've ever seen. Fucking hell, ref, mate. Blow it up. Blow Bum it up, ref. Yes. Yes, boys. FA Cup finalists Ugh. 2024. I press end, I press the fucking ending stream thing by accident because that's how much I would want to be here. Full time, <laughs> man. City are through to the FA Cup final. We can retain. We are ninety minutes away. We are one game away from retaining our trophy. Our trophy. That was a absolutely appalling game of football. Absolutely dreadful performance, but. You know what? We may live to look back and say it's one we had to grind out. You can look at it whatever way you want. You can say it was shit. You can say we grinded it out. I'm happy to do absolutely both. It was shit and we grinded it out. Uh, Spinks, you're going to sit down. I'm going to lie down after this. I need more than a sit. I've been sat. I don't need a sit down. I need like a... I need like a full body reset after that. Like... Uh, <laughs> that was horrific. Like, if we're being real, yes, yeah. we've got through. We've got through. That's the main thing. That's the important thing. We've won the game. We've technically bounced back after Madrid. Um, but my God, 
if we even play remotely close to that against Brighton, we're going to get hammered. Mm. Yeah, well, the good thing is at least it's a good few days until we play against Brighton, isn't it? Yeah. Better team than Chelsea. Scores chances. Again, Chelsea should have been at like 3-0 up at one point before we scored. So you can't exactly... I don't think Chelsea fans can maybe complain too much because the only thing that stopped them from beating us is the fact that they just couldn't stick the ball in the back of the net. They did everything else right. They defended okay. Um, they did some really nice build-up play. There was a lot of one-touch, two-touch football. They got in behind our defence a lot. The separator was, they just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. My man of the match is Taku Lungani. My man of the match is fucking Taku because I think he came on and offered us something that we really needed. Get in, lads. Big up, Brendan. Big up, everybody who's joining us. EH, uh, Taku, man of the match. I think I'd give Taku a man of the match. Uh, make sure you've all hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. There's a link in the chat. Anybody wants to become a channel member, like Nayballs became a channel member today. Um, Eric became a channel member today. 4 a.m. in Melbourne. That's some dedication, Brendan, man. That's some dedication being up at 4 a.m. to watch that shit. It was one of the worst performances of the season, but as someone in the chat says there, you have to win ugly sometimes, and that was very ugly. That was really, really ugly, you know? Um, but we got the job done. Listen, I need, I, need, I need a drink. I need some food, man, so we're going to wrap it up. Uh, we'll be back. We'll be back tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow for a late-night chat when all the Premier League's said and done. Uh, I'm wrecked now, so I need to go. I can't go, continue. Relax. I need to lie down. That was horrible. Hit the like button, people. Subscribe <laughs> if you're new, and um, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night and God bless, man. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Listen to your heart. Tell me who you want to be. We can always start.